Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. I'm your host, Cooley. We got one, two, three, four, five lovely ladies on a panel today. We talking dating and relationships. And hey, it's Halloween. So uh, this is a Halloween episode. We in the Halloween spirit. What y'all say? Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, we in the Halloween spirit. We got uh, Happy my Halloween. man. Happy Halloween. We got my man uh, Hollywood over here uh, co-hosting today. I'm not on the boards today, guys. I'm, I'm on live with y'all. <laughs> and uh, let's let the lady in- ladies introduce themselves. Uh, starting over here. Name, age, and where you from? Uh, my name is Kiki. I am 22 years old, and I live in Bethlehem. Kiki, do you love me? Are you right? <laughs> so you yeah. never ever leave from beside me, because I want you. <laughs> And I need. <laughs> Gotta prove. Thank you. There you go, Kiki. Um, Amen. Kiki. Uh, Amen. Amen. What do you do for a living? I'm a direct caregiver, and then I um, I took classes for modeling and acting. Okay. Just have me work. So you a caregiver, modeling and acting, relationship status? I am single. Single. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yo, Mike, can you hit the record on there? Are you already on that? My man's. Uh, <laughs> and then uh re- oh you said you're single 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 and what are you dressed up as today i am the matrix the matrix trinity yeah okay all mm. right so we got trinity on a podcast that's <laughs> funny uh moving right along name age and where you from i'm raven i'm 29 and i live in broadheadsville pa broadheadsville pennsylvania and what do you do for a living I own an LLC for interior design, and I'm also a part-time nanny. Nice, nice. Welcome back. Thank you. And you as well, Trinity. Welcome back. You was on here before. (laughs) (laughs) I was. And uh, relationship status? I'm single. Single. How long you been single for? For a year and a half. Year and a half? Yeah. Okay. Not bad. And uh, what are you dressed up as? Just a cute bunny. Cute bunny. Okay. (laughs) Fair enough. Cute bunny. (laughs) And name, age, and where you from? My name is Tanaya. I'm... I live in Mount Pocono. I'm 26. And um, what I do for a living, I work at Walmart. I do hair. And now I work as an electrician. Okay. You work as an electrician. Lam, hand it over. I got to do this. And just off the appearance, you need Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) The devil is in the building today. I got my holy water for you, too. This was the the last thing in Dollar General, bro. It's the, it's the <laughs> devil. <laughs> Out of all things you could be, you decided to be I'm the so devil. Sorry. My blood, I'm it so boils a All right. And uh, relationship status, you said? I'm single. Single. How long you been single for? Uh, Since uh, June. Since June? So, okay. Yeah, right. And uh, what are you dressed the best? The, the devil. The devil. The okay. God damn yes. devil. <laughs> That's Haram. <laughs> all right. Uh, moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? My name is Kaylee. I'm 30. I'm from Easton, Pennsylvania. Kaylee, 30, Easton, PA. And uh, what do you do for a living? I'm not going to disclose that because I got roasted the last time. <laughs> oh, Wait. welcome uh, back. Nope, nope, nope. Kaylee, oh. Oh. Nah, we might have new viewers, though. We might have new viewers and they we might want to know. I'm True. not disclosing it. You can watch the last episode. True indeed. Okay. Katie, do be sliding Kaylee. down. Kaylee. <laughs> Kaylee. Oh, wait, wait. Do be <laughs> sliding down those toes for Katie. a living. Oh, my God. Rebuke. Rahim, <laughs> Rahim. <laughs> Put your damn water away, son. And Kaylee, uh, relationship status. I am single. you single. How yeah. long have you been single for? Well, it'll be 12 months on Wednesday, actually. 12 months on, so you've been single for a year. Yeah. All right, all right. She got a single anniversary. <laughs> 12 months in a couple minutes. I think, what, what month is this? Yeah, okay, it's 12. Um, And what are you dressed up as? Sexy maid, but with a twist, dominatrix. So if anyone misbehaves tonight, I'll slap them with this. Okay, <laughs> spicy. Kaylee, all right. Mm-hmm. Name, age, where are you from? I'm Gigi, 22. Bethlehem, PA, what tattoo artist. Okay, that's what you do for a living, doing yep. tattoos. All right, I see you tatted up a little bit. Everywhere. Everywhere, all right, all right. Clown. And you're a clown today. Yep. You skipped over the other question. What was the other question? Relationship style. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, single. Single. Mm-hmm. The last time. I said single with lingering here. feelings. The feelings are gone. They're demolished. They're gone. They no I'm longer good. linger. So I'm a great spirit. 
Great spirit. Okay, so the dude okay. that you oh, had those gone. lingering feelings for, they totally, mm -hmm. you're healed. They're gone, and I got the name covered. Would you say you're healed? Yeah, I got his name covered, too. And you got the name covered. I, I did. Man. That's how you do she it. Cut, that's how you, that's how you do it. She said, cover my name so I know it's real. <laughs> okay, okay, up. and... uh Hollywood, you want to introduce yourself? Colson? Yeah, man, you already did. It's Hollywood. Get money lean. What you want to know, man? Just ask me. Hey, man, it's you. Uh, I'm from Jersey. I've been out here for a little while. And uh, the Lord said we're all single until we get married. Amen. Amen. <laughs> all right. So we get <laughs> so uh, everyone in the chat right now, we live right now on Facebook. And YouTube, if you watching this on Facebook right now, <laughs> click the like. I see you watching, but we need to get the likes up. Super if you live on YouTube right now watching, click that like. And also click the notification bell, that bell icon, so you're notified of the next podcast. Um, also, if you have any questions, send a super chat. I'm going to read your super chat. If you just comment, that's cool. But uh, if you want us to read your uh, super chat, it could be a comment. It could be a question to the ladies on the panel, a question to myself. Send a dollar, whatever you have in. I don't care how much you send in, but that's the only way we'll get you'll get your super chat read. Um, other than that, let's get into the first question on the podcast today. And we're going to start with Trinity. Oh, damn. Black <laughs> Trinity. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Trinity. So here's the first question. Have you ever ghosted someone? And if so, why? Um, <clears throat> yes, I have. Mm. I've done it for plenty of reasons. I get turned off quick. Um, for example, like, I don't know, the one guy, one guy was, he had asked me, um, like, he was asking me about myself. And then he said, I'm trying to get money like you. It just rubbed me the wrong way. Wait, she was asking you about yourself. And then said, I'm trying to get money like you. And he said, he's trying to get money like you. Yeah, I just didn't like the sound of that. Yeah. Broke boy status. Yeah. yeah. It, it rubbed me off it's the wrong cringy. way. Got Very you. cringe. And you just ghosted him after that. Yeah. Fair enough. I don't blame you. Uh, moving right along. <laughs> have you ever ghosted someone? And if so, why? Um. Yeah, I have. Um, mostly because... I guess they were asking me for a nude and I wasn't willing to give it to them. So I was just <laughs> like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm just going to ghost them. Oh, he asked for that. Oh, <laughs> man. He was trying to see the tontada, <laughs> the melon. Yeah. He was trying to see the melon, <laughs> the pore, the culo. You can see all that? <laughs> Dang, that's wild. Yeah. Uh, let me see. In the Bible, what is that? They say, that? <laughs> they say um, thou Psalms, shalt not. Yeah, thou shalt not mm -hmm. ask a woman for nudes. She <laughs> should want to send them nudes yep. by herself without asking. Yeah, man, you're not supposed to ask for nudes. Yeah, wait, so. wait. Holy water for him. Holy, <laughs> Holy water. Lachain him. He needs to be lachain. Uh, moving right along. Uh, have you ever ghosted someone? And if so, why? I have plenty of times, but uh, yeah. Um, plenty of times. I'll just say this yeah. one guy said to me... Um, What's up with your big ass head? And I was just like, um, <laughs> Damn, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, what the fuck? 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 That joint is tight, big, though. Hey, stop it. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. She, wrong. she said, she said, nigga, you can't even joke over here. What's, what's that? She said, it was a joke. No, uh uh, not what's over that here. What's the Bible about, uh, I think, that, I think that one might be in my Bible with yeah. the shot. I think that one might be in my. Yeah, he, was telling, he was telling <laughs> the truth. He was not lying. Um, it's okay. I know he was going to tell me that, though. Sure. Okay. Uh, have you ever ghosted a dude, and if so, why? Yes, I have. Because he sent me a full frontal nude of him. And I said, I'm not interested. I don't care what you're packing downstairs. It's not going to make me like you or think of you as a future partner because realistically speaking, uh, just because you're good at fucking doesn't mean you're going to provide for like a woman later gotcha. in life. So he sent you a nude and you didn't like it. You thought it was no. disrespectful. Men think like <laughs> it's it. about... Have you question for you? Did you ever get a nude, right? <laughs> and you actually did then speak to the guy? No. Okay, so any guy that ever sent you a nude, he never hit it. No. 
Unless we're dating. But if uh, we're not, since then... In Corinthians. Uh, unless we're dating. That, but don't, no. that don't add up. <laughs> that don't add up. Unless we're uh, dating, no. He definitely slid someone. One of them. Maybe not the last dude, but one of them. You 20 what? I'm 30. You 30? Oh, you've been getting a lot of wang picks. What I said? <laughs> that'd be it? Yes? Yeah. So but... one of them definitely slid in. No, they didn't. Yeah, I do believe so. No, but we gonna they move didn't. right along. They did not. Okay. They did enough. not. Gigi, mm. uh, have you ever been ghosted? And if so, have I ever been ghosted? I mean, have you ever ghosted someone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, loads of times. Loads, loads of times. Loads of times. Okay, pick the most. I don't, I actually don't. I can't recall like a specific time. It's like if I'm you ghosting ghost them, so then it, I just forgot about them. I really, I don't remember any specifics. Like I can't tell you what the conversation was. I can't tell you if we've ever Got you. talked on the phone before. I can't tell you no, if they're ghosted, they're ghosted for they're reasons. Ghosted, I ghosted. don't know who they are. I don't remember them. They're gone. They're, they're a ghost. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Dean, so you, you had those many you can't remember. She must I don't remember. Them on the first text. Hey, Mike, uh, what that uh, number four <laughs> yeah. camera angle looking like? Oh, uh, put the... Oh, wait, that's... Yeah. Not a button up more right there. Here you go. See what that look like now. Oh, yeah, we got the wide angle. We litty. So uh, <laughs> let's get the audience in this because um, let's play some games and have some fun. It is Halloween. Um, but before we get to that, Lane, what do you think about this? They all ghosted dudes, you know, and they had some. I feel like their reasons was somewhat valid. I, I guess, you know, you know, I think, yes, if a man doesn't qualify, you should ghost him right away. It's no long. I don't think you should prolong anything. If you're even in the friend zone, if you, just dub him, just get rid of him. A ghost is the best thing. So that way he know to go on and pick a, other options that may be for him instead of just linking him around. Yeah, I th my thoughts on that uh, to the ladies, ghosts, and dudes. Um, actually, I got another question for y'all. Go around. Who do you think ghosts each other more, men or women? And if so, why? Start with you, Trinity. I, w I believe women. Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like, um, in my opinion, I might be wrong, but I feel like guys are usually the ones that's more like going after the yeah. female, the one, you know, initiating the conversations and stuff. They're... And then, like for me, like I, like I told you, I get turned off by littlest, like littlest things. Little Some things thing. just turn me off, so I just stop. I feel like I do that a lot, and I never, I never got ghosted. So no, that I, lied. I next, lied. That was my next question. Have you ever got ghosted? It. I lied. I probably did like one time. Can you remember? No, I, I don't really remember, but I'm sure I probably did like one time or something, or like, but. The fact is, that what I'm getting at is that I can't really recall, which means I feel like we do more of the ghosting mm. because I can't really sit here and say, yeah, this guy ghosted me, this guy. I I can say I really do the ghosting, like, as a female. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. And what about yourself? Who do you think ghosts each other more, men or women? Um, I think it's women because um, a lot of guys try too hard and they say a lot of cringy shit. So women don't really mm -hmm. want to deal with that at all. Okay, fair enough. And have you ever been ghosted? Yeah. You have? Yeah. <laughs> when when have you been ghosted? Yeah. Tell us um, about that. Multiple times because, like, I'm not one to kind of put out right away. I want something serious. And a lot of guys I've talked to don't understand that. And since I don't put out right away, they'll end up just ghosting me. So that means they weren't serious about me in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, how old are you? 29. 29? Yeah. Would you say that most guys that you speak to um and they they aren't really serious when they speak to you like they're not looking for something serious some of them but i feel like some of them try to play me right away but since i've kind of been through all that already i kind of can pin out the red flags right away got you yeah. and play you like what like they'll try to be mr charming and kind of like tell me what i want to hear and it's like i'm not gonna put up with that Got you. So they try to raise you up a little bit. Yeah. And since I've already <laughs> been through that, I've already been played. It's like I already can pin out all those red flags. So I'm not going to like, you know, I'm just going to ghost you then if I even see a couple red flags. Okay. Is it fair to say that most men that you speak to, um, they look for sex? What I'm saying is, is it fair to say most men that you speak to, 
they want sex anyway. They're not actually looking for a relationship. Like, did you actually meet a man and he's looking for a relationship and y'all got into a relationship? Yeah, definitely. Many times. Mm. Mm, okay, fair enough. And how many uh, relationships you've been in? Um, a few. <laughs> definitely a lot. Um, okay. So maybe six, maybe three, um, like long term. Um, I've done long distance and yeah. I don't recommend long distance at all. Me neither. One or the other does cheat, I have to say, because you're not getting that attention from the other person because they're, it can, I feel like maybe sometimes it can work for some people, but most of the times one or the other does cheat. Yeah, you need yeah. that physical affection. Yeah, because you're not around each other often and there's other options around you, you know, so you have that ability to do that because your partner's not around you that often. Yeah. Meanwhile, if you live so somewhere 30 minutes from each other, then you have more time to schedule rather than being an hour or two hours. Yeah, I would also say that um, I was asking you those questions because generally speaking, when men court women, they court the woman for one reason, yeah. for sex. is never a relationship. Exactly. The guys that have relationship on their mind, they're kind of like socially awkward and yep. weird, lower value dudes anyway. Like, oh, yeah, I want to be in a relationship mm -hmm. with you. Like those awkward guys, and nerdy. <laughs> yeah, those guys, you, you know, you curve anyway. You know right. what I mean? You ghost those type of dudes because they're like too thirsty. Mm -hmm. The dudes that's looking for box. Um, so think about it, right? If most guys are looking for box, mm -hmm. but you're ghosting the dudes that's looking for box, you're probably like ghosting good candidates because... Mm -hmm. Most every I would say every guy is looking for box. Of course, every guy that you're attracted to looking for box. So it's not about ghosting them before you give them the box. Mm -hmm. Like oh well, you're looking for box, so you're ghosted out of here. Right. It's more about okay, well let's see what you're about, and add some value to the man, even if you give him the box. So mm -hmm. if you give him the box, just add value, like instantly after you give him the box, mm -hmm. that'll keep him around, and also that'll make you see if he's serious with you or not too. Right. Very true. That's. That's I what I was saying. See, like relationships to men, it's like a, it's like a, 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 it's like a surprise. It hits us like we don't expect it. It's mm -hmm. like we might meet the female, and obviously, like you said, we'll be looking for one thing, but then we'll see other f features and other like uh, qualities in the female that we'll be like, oh, you know what? I, I could be here. I, mm -hmm. I could be home here. I could be cool here. Like this might be it. So what he's saying is most men do look for, or they may have that goal. It's up to you to change the dynamics of that. Right. Yeah. Um, and moving right along, uh, have you ever been ghosted before? Yeah. You have. Tell us mm -hmm. about that. Um, and actually, who do you think ghosts more, men or women? I think women do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have been ghosted, so tell us about that story. Um, I was talking to this guy for, from like July, well, not this year, but um, whatever year it was, um, from like July to maybe October. Yeah. And I don't know where he just stop texting me like i don't know it wasn't ever any issues or we didn't even have sex or anything like that he just ghosted me um how long were y'all talking for she said i'd say since. five five months maybe or so. well well god dang that's why he ghosted you you've been talking to him for five months and he ain't get no box <laughs> anybody would have ghosted you what and then he tried to come back <laughs> and then he tried to come back like yeah, maybe god. a month and a half later <laughs> Trying to apologize and everything, saying, I'm sorry, I was going through this, and I went to the state, and all this other stuff, and all this other and I was just like, well, you could have just told me that. Like, if you're going through something, just say that. Like, don't just leave up and abruptly just stop talking to me. Fair bit. enough, fair enough. I am actually going to applaud you on that for holding your box secret. The Lord says <laughs> you should not fornicate unless you're married. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he being nice to you. Um... She wasn't the holding story. her box sacred for five months. She was letting another nigga smash, but just no, not him. No, that's I how it goes. I was celibate for three oh years. Oh my gosh! Ah. I was celibate for three years. Whoa! Was, let's see. Let's check the. Let's check the holy I'm book. So, dead ass. Ass. so in 2023, <laughs> so do girls be celibate for how many? How long? I was celibate for three years. Cause, three years? Cause oh, I it. It says she in was uh, up. chapter 21 of uh, Genesis, uh, that is Fugazi. No. Fugazi. Always. I kept it to myself. I couldn't do it. Like, I couldn't do it. I had a bad relationship before that. That's why I, I stayed celibate for three years. So. Got you. Got you. Hey, in the chat, um, we work and we live streaming right now through Restream. <clears throat> if anyone knows how to get rid of the audio cancellation on Restream, put that in a chat. 
Um, because when we all speak at the same time, it like cancels out the noise. So it, like you, you, uh, I can't hear anything, but, uh, yeah, if you know how to use restream, let me know, man. So we can fix that real quick. Cause I know it's like a button. We just click and it'll come right off. Then we could while out, but, um, moving right along yourself. Uh, have you ever, well, who ghosts each other more men or women? And have you ever ghosted anyone? Um, I think it's 50, 50 personally, and I have plenty of times, mostly to men. Okay. Cause I am into men. Uh, and the only reason why I do it is because they don't take no for an answer. They keep <laughs> trying and trying and sorry. They keep trying after you say, no, I'm not interested. They're like, why not? You think I'm ugly? It has nothing to do with that. It's just, you're not my type. And I don't know what you'll bring to the table in a future relationship. So is it and, a certain situation where you ghosted a guy? Can you like give that? Oh, you, a lot of the times. No, no. She gave like a general. I thought it was, has she been ghosted? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah I'm sorry. Have you been ghosted? Tell a time when you've been ghosted. Mm. Uh, I have. That's because I wouldn't put out right away. And I just, I'm into like building an emotional connection with someone before we get into physical stuff. I'm not just going to put out right Have away. Have you ever had a one night stand? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that means yes, ladies and gentlemen. I had it a long time ago. Who cares? So, uh, in, in, uh, we Job, all have. Who cares? Am I going to get roasted? <laughs> one mic at a time. In Job chapter one, it says, Please. a woman that uh, is claiming that she needs an emotional connection before sleeping with a man, uh, but then she also had a one night stand in the past. It doesn't add up. I a was, man doesn't want to spend really full drunk. price on a Cadillac oh. when someone got it for free. I was really drunk, excuse me, so I don't remember oh. shit. Oh, yeah, well, you the other guy should have yeah, well. got you drunk then. Dang, nigga, look, that's it's not. Don't do that. <laughs> you know what? Um, we all have done that at least once in our life. But I'm saying, like, at not my. Not me, I've never drank before. You're lying. <laughs> nah, he's been. I'm okay, a man at a but, cross. I'm, but I'm just trying to say. Put it on the book. <laughs> like. No, I'm fine, good. Okay, but I'm just trying to say in general, for me, like now that I'm 30, I'm just looking for like someone to build a life with. Like I don't, I'm not going to sleep around or put out, like I'm looking for that so, connection. So um, what's what's something you like? Something something that you really want? Tell me. Um, I really don't <laughs> I really don't know how to answer. Sometimes you always want it. It's a, like a physical thing. A material. Material? Yeah, materialistic thing. Well, I've always wanted a Chanel bag, but Chanel I can't bag. Okay, perfect. That. If you went to the Chanel store to get a Chanel bag and uh, you, you know, you saved up a lot of money to get this Chanel bag and Chanel bags is, and they go for like 5,000, I believe, yeah. or even more, 510. Mm -hmm. They can go up pretty high. So you spend, you save up your 5,000 and you buy that Chanel bag, you put five G's on it. And uh, you leave out the store with it. Um, and then while when you, you paid and while you paid and you got your Chanel bag, you see other people in line and on other lines and they're getting their Chanel bag, too. And uh, those other people, they're getting their Chanel bag. Some is getting it for two thousand. Some is getting it for one thousand. Another person got it for a dollar and some random old lady in there got it for free. How would that make you feel? Um, probably upset because she got it for free. Exactly. That this is exactly how men feel when a thirty-year-old woman had one night stands before in the past, oh and God. they want to. The woman is saying, "Oh, yeah, we want you to build an emotional connection with us, and uh, you know, take us out on multiple dates and give us a good experience." But on the flip side, you let other niggas hit it for free. Wait. That was you one. let other niggas hit it on the first date, but we gotta go through the whole emotional connection and stuff. But but listen, ladies, we're men. Me and this brother right here, strictly one of us. Yeah. So this is how we feel. If we're talking to a girl and we know that oh oh she smashed so and so the first night. Oh she been at this club chilling with this. So I know he probably hit it within a week. And then I'm speaking to her and she's making me wait a month or like she's wanting all these extra things. Of course he's gonna ghost you because it's like what. 
you just let another nigga get it easy. I'm not about to be sitting here waiting. And it's just the same thing for the Chanel bag. You wouldn't want that. So does that analogy make sense, ladies? That's just how the man's mindset is. Go ahead. Uh, you, so what do you um, think you should do, like, a, as a female, if that's the case then? Like, this just give question. it up? Like, yeah. Well, I don't want to do the man, just like you, you, oh, I, I need emotional connection. I need a good date. The man has to show you a good experience to get the box right after you give the box. You got to add value outside box. Make sense. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, what you had, Gigi? You had some? You was laughing over there, Gigi. I was I laughing. Oh, I thought you was I, laughing. I, maybe a little. I, you know me, you my guy. So, uh, but I see both sides of the of the perspective because a girl could give it up fast and i might write her off faster i might mm -hmm. be like uh you know if you if you let me hit it that fast then you probably let a lot of niggas hit it that fast and that could disqualify you too so it's true to add value but also um you don't want to be disqualified early as well because uh it, it could it, it you could have done that and then it could have been a pointless situation. So he's right. I get what he's saying. But still, a guy definitely values purity. You know what I mean? I'm not saying you got to wait till marriage. But it's all based off feelings. So, like, it might be difference between us two. With him, you might be like, all right, well, he's eye candy, so I'll pop it on him. But for me, you'd be like, ugh. I see something in him that might be a little long term, so I kind of want to play it out safe and not write me off too fast. So you kind of got to feel it. And it sucks that there really isn't no no real rules to the book, but it's just based off of just intuition and knowing what you're doing is, 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 is hey, you, you got to add value afterwards, no matter what. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Uh, uh, it's two ways you could always look at it with the woman um, waiting. But, but since we live in an immoral world, you know what I mean? Just add value <laughs> outside of sex. At the end of the day, just... <laughs> yeah, because you got to think about it. For the most part, he gave the prime example. If you making, mm -hmm. if I hit it the first night, mm -hmm. but you make him wait five weeks, he just wasn't that nigga, but I was. Truthfully, that's like the matter of the fact, right? That's just mm -hmm. the matter of the fact. So it could be like, you you could think of like, oh, well, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I caught it out of vulnerable time. True. Guess what? I was still that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I was, still the, I was still the nigga because I got it off of that one encounter. He had to wait five weeks. So at the end of the day, it's like since we live in this immoral world, do what you want to do, but add value to the man outside of sex since you're not a virgin. If you was a virgin, that's a different story. I would say wait until you find a right man and wait for marriage. But yeah. But then there's also guys that uh, if you do, like he said, if you do have sex, you know, too fast, they may look at you as a as a 304. Mm -hmm. But usually those guys that will look at a woman as a 304, they just haven't been getting a whole lot of poon. You, you know mean? what I'm saying? What do you mean like poon? a hoe? Like a whole lot of yeah. pussy? Yeah. <laughs> Throughout yeah. their life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually. So could it be like a nerd and stuff? Could be. Go ahead, Gigi. What you um, I'm just going to add to that quick and then I can answer your question. Um, I'm going to say, fuck all that. You... <laughs> Me too. If you you have sex when you want to have sex, don't feel pressured and don't feel like, oh, well, maybe I should give it up because my value is going to go up. Nah, fuck that. When you want to have sex, you have sex. Don't let nobody pressure you. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. And then, then if they want to ghost you, all right, fuck you then. You're not the one for me. Facts. Simple yeah. as that. You. Simple 100%. as that. 100%. I agree you with what? you. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you agree with it. Because some, some guys will, like, really, really, really <laughs> try it. And, like, some guys actually get mad. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. if, you, oh, yeah. if you're, like, on a first date or something and a guy's, like, really trying to be touchy or get mm -hmm. with you and then you don't want to do it, some guys actually get really mad. And that's like, yeah, you're a weirdo. Yeah, you yeah, you're a weirdo. Red, yeah, that's a red flag. Like, of course, yeah, ladies, if yeah. you shouldn't be racing to have sex anyway, you want to yeah. hold on to your purity as mm -hmm. long as you as long as you can. But if there's a guy that you're really attracted to, I'm not saying it's not the if there if there's a guy that you're very attracted to, obviously other girls are very attracted to him as well, right? So if you want to play a game and make that guy wait, well, that guy is probably not waiting. He's probably cracking other cheeks down while he's waiting while he, while you're waiting for yourself. You get what I'm saying? So if you want to have the best opportunity to lock down the attractive guy, don't think it's like, don't rush to have sex with him, 
but also don't make them wait. Yeah. Like actually go with your woman intuitions and how you, you're normally, you're slaves to your feelings anyway. So just stay slaves to your feelings and <laughs> wait till you feel the vibe and then do it. What I'm saying is don't play that waiting game because a high value man would just disqualify you. Oh my God, I know you let another nigga hit. I'm not waiting for this. Mm -hmm. You playing games. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put you on the, all that put you on the slow cooker. <laughs> like, I, okay. All right, so I'm going to put you on a slow cooker. Or oh, what most guys uh, keep it no for gazy, they're playing the seed. So they'd be they'll like, the all right, you, you, it's going to take you some time for us to get there. So I'm a baby or spoon feed a little by little while he's cracking everything else in the meantime that, that it's <laughs> yeah. available for. Hey, Finesse, I see you in the comments, man. He said the co host beta. They're trying to say you beta, bro. Never. <laughs> From that? that answer. I know why y'all saying that. Lame, he's just that. being nice to the girls, to be honest, but. He know what's up. <laughs> uh, let's, oh, also, I see a super chat. DJ Voodoo Spells, man. Thank you for the $5 super chat. We're going to get to your question next, man. Um, Gigi, I want you to answer the question. Okay. Um, yeah, women ghost more for sure. Okay. Because I feel like guys also, like, they could ghost a girl, whatever, but nine times out of ten, even if he's, like, not super into her or anything, like, he still could probably crack. So... So I'm trying to get it there, you know? Okay, fair <laughs> enough. That's why I enough. feel like we're a girl, you know, whatever. Um, have I ever been ghosted? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I feel like I wouldn't really say ghosted. I would say maybe like, I don't know. But then sometimes I feel like I like the guys who are more so not super into me. Like, I feel like every relationship or every guy i've ever talked to i pursued it so it's like i feel like when they pursue me it's like mm, it's like sometimes like too much coming on too strong energy but i feel like when i pursue them it's like yeah i want you like i'm into you okay you know what i mean so i don't know if i've really ever been like ghosted Probably before been ghosted. because usually I mean, I'm just saying. No, like, I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm just saying, Most like, women especially, like, recently, for example, like, there was this guy I was probably stalking at the gym for a month, and then I, like, found his Instagram, <laughs> and I followed him, and, like, you know, first I hit his DMs, and he at first he was like, yeah, I'm not really, like, looking for a relationship, and I was, like, focused on work and the gym and all of that. Yeah. Like, he's really, like, a good type of guy. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is, this is a, a little challenge for me because i want him <laughs> so now you know i just kept applying applying pressure and now you know okay that's your little boo thing now, <laughs> now he's saying. like my little boo okay fair enough fair enough <laughs> but you know what i'm saying like i don't like the like i don't know if i've been ghosted because it's usually the people i don't want like usually if they off like try not to want me at first now I really want you. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. kind of like, okay, if you if you show me you're not into me, then it kind of shows me something different because let's be real, like, yeah. if you're not like an ugly girl, like, they're still going to want to fuck you anyway. So if a guy is starting to like more so ghost me, now I feel like, okay, you really do have something different going on. So I'm yeah, like, I want yeah. you, you okay, know? Okay, okay. That's like how I kind of look at Gigi it. Gigi likes the challenge. You got, what's well, your well, thoughts who, on that? Well, who ghosts more? Yeah, who do you think oh, who course, ghosts more? Of and then also, um... Unless you're me, then, you know. You know, any reasons <laughs> why. I get my ghost on, too. Um, nah, I, I know that I know that women ghost more because, like, uh, like we all know women fall in love with their ears. So if you're not saying anything that's going to, you know, that be appealing to them, then you're just r getting written off right from the scratch. Like, so I get it. Women ghost men more. We know that already. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, my thoughts on all of this, of course, uh, you know, women ghost men more. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why is because women have more options than men, generally speaking, mm -hmm. um, and not even generally speaking. I mean, all the time. We know a 400 pound woman probably got more options than break <laughs> <laughs> who knows i'm Boy, sure she um... does so uh yeah man that's the name of the game uh the dudes that get ghosted hey man don't take it to heart it's just not your time buddy and move it right along uh, the dudes that's doing the ghosting, <laughs> salute to you the dudes that's doing the ghosting uh these promiscuous women don't deserve your attention and uh only give your attention to the women that deserve it uh but Let's get into the first super chat on the panel. Let's see what he's talking about. What the hell are you talking about? 
Okay, so uh, DJ Voodoo Spell sent him $5. He says, is it true that men talk their way out of sex <laughs> yeah. and women talk their way out of relationships? And we're going to start with uh, Gigi. All right. Um, so say the first part again so I can answer yep. the purpose. Is it true that uh, women, is it true men. that men talk their way out of sex? Yeah, definitely. 100%. Stupid. And is it true 100%. that uh, women talk their way out of relationships? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I feel okay. like if you do too much relationship talk, you're going to steer the guy away. Like, just let things go the way they go. Like, sometimes, like, I feel like if you, like, rush, like, from the beginning, like, oh, like, if you're talking to somebody, you're like, yeah, I'm looking for this, this, I, I feel like sometimes that steers, like, I just, like, let things go with the flow, and it, like, naturally grows and gets, because then it's, like, if you try to, like, cap something, yeah. you're just already putting a cap on it, so it's, like, People already know what you. Mm, it's not gonna. Okay. I don't so know. Fair enough. You're pretty much yeah. saying the girls that uh, are asking for a relationship like yeah, too like, soon or just, too much. Yeah. It'll go with be, the flow. Got it. Like. And um, moving right along to you, uh, is it true that men talk their way out of sex and women talk their way out out of relationships? Yeah, I agree with what Gigi said. I okay. mean, I'm the type of person who likes to take things slowly and not rush into anything. And get to know someone. Like go with the flow, you know. Okay, fair enough. And um, what about yourself? Um, yeah, I do think men do t uh, talk their way out of sex because they just push it too much sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I don't want to hear you say you want to eat something right off the first text. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> Ice. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other question? I'm sorry. And then, uh, well, that was you answered that one. And then, um, is it true that women talk their way out of relation, <laughs> talk their way out of relationships? <laughs> yes, because I've learned personally, like like Gigi said, like you talk about it too much, or maybe uh, if you say like right off bat, like this is what I want. A lot of guys don't really like that. I noticed, like, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And what about you? Um, I do feel like um, women do kind of... I'm sorry, what was the question? Uh, is, it, is it true <laughs> that women talk... Is it true that men talk their way out of sex and women talk their way out of relationships? Um, I do think that women do um, talk... I mean, get themselves out of relationships because they may not feel happy with that person or um, they're just not feeling the relationship anymore or they're just not feeling that guy or that person. And I do feel like men do try to get out of sex with women or the other way around. Sorry, I'm stoned. <laughs> stoned? I am. That's the stoned. devil's lettuce. I love and, the devil's uh, lettuce. <laughs> and Revelation, they say all the people, stoned people will be stoned. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like on me, on me. Holy water. <laughs> the devil's Yo. lettuce. And uh, Yo, moving right along to yourself, Trinity. <laughs> um, I do agree. Geeky. I agree with that. I feel like it's true. Okay. Um, And I was also, I feel like because, I feel like, I feel like us female, like, not all right. I feel like some females that like want a relationship and then the guys want sex. Yeah. So I feel like we're talking about so automatically we're, that's we're gonna get into that we're gonna talk about that so if they're not feeling that it's done for and that I feel like that's how we do it like how we talk ourselves mm -hmm. out of it. Okay, mm. fair enough. Um, makes sense uh, to an extent. Lane, <laughs> an extent. what you got? Uh, <laughs> men definitely say stupid. I wish I had the button so I could say it. Men definitely do well say stupid shit so they definitely talk their way out of sex. I I can agree with that. Now as far as women talking their way out of a relationship i think it's more based off of actions than what a woman would say because uh we don't really it's in one ear and out the other most of the time like when y'all talk is like this but <laughs> how you carry yourself or how you maneuver or what you do or or or, or like you said like how you carry yourself is how you're going to get the relationship it's i don't really base it off of what comes out of your mouth because i i most of the females that I encounter, of course, they y'all do it for a relationship. We do it for sex. We know that, so we know that's what y'all want. We know we we can expect that right off the rip. So, th what y'all say is what we expect, but it's how y'all maneuver. It's like you have to dress for the part. 
that you want to work, work, work be at and not for the part that you're at. You understand that a little bit? Like if you want to be a wife or be in a relationship, then you have to act like that. That's based off of actions, not about what you say. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Gigi. I was going to say, like, yeah, I could see what he's saying, but, like, actions do speak louder than words, but words also mean something because I could tell you there are some guys that, like, if a girl says anything, like, disrespectful or something comes out of her mouth that's disrespectful, yeah. you're done for. Yeah. Like, there ain't no relationship. There ain't no nothing. So I feel like it's, women can talk their way out of a relationship for sure. Like, you say something crazy, like, Oh, your mom could suck your dick. Oh, Something yeah. like that. <laughs> or some shit. Like, now you're like, yeah, you just disrespecting me, shorty. You're done. You're done for. It's just like, I don't know. Well, disrespect, like, you could talk. That's uh, yeah, like, come on. Nobody's going to tolerate disrespect. disrespect yeah. so. But, like, I'm saying, like, if we go out on a date and you're like, you know, I want to be married and, you know, I want kids and all that. We're going to sit there and be like, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, great, mm-hmm. But then after that, it's like, all right, how do you portray yourself to the world how do you portray yourself to me how are you going to make me look you're a reflection of me so how are you going to make me look when we're out and when we're together you know what i'm saying so i think it's more based off of actions like you can sit mm. here and tell me i cook every day three meals and i could be like word i love a cheat that cook <laughs> but when we together you you right next to me and shit so like, wait, Yo, when is the cooking starting then you could get your weight that you gotta go because now you're just oh wait i think you just contradicted everything because yeah, wait listen, listen, yeah, listen. I get it. but uh, because, actions still. Uh, but you're picking and choosing what you want to hear so basically it goes back actually to my original answer because what you're saying is like oh she said she's gonna cook three times now you yeah. listening right. but if you the type of guy who's like she's talking about marriage and kids and you're like mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, then it goes back to my original point that i was talking about with the guy with the gym and everything how he say oh i'm not looking for a relationship right now maybe you're not actually looking for marriage and kids so now you really just want to crack you no, no, yeah, let me clear this like, up for yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, like, okay. I feel like he just hold on, he, he hold on, just no, want to hit trying, that's why it's going no, in out the other year because you just want to fuck you go, I know you're going to that's go. what I feel like <laughs> no 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 it, it, hey look it might happen but before you go uh, it's, it's, it's not that like we don't care about what you're telling us. We care about what you show us. So, yeah, you can sit here and talk a good one all day, but if you don't do that, then obviously that's what disqualify you. That's what takes you away. Now, uh, uh, we're going to say whatever to hit. We understand that. But once we do that, like you said, you got to add value. You got to do something. You can't just be like, well, you know, I told you I could cook and I ain't never taste your food. You know what I'm saying? So it got to be an action behind what you do because that's what sticks with us more. Like, damn, like, I wake up and this breakfast already for me? Shit. This is all right. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like lunchtime and I got a sandwich? Damn, I don't <laughs> um, even got to tell her I'm hungry. It's there? Oh, all right, sweetheart, keep doing your dizzle. <laughs> I feel like you'd be a see-through kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Cool. Yeah, I'll clear this up. Like I, I would, you could see through that though. Yeah. Like if somebody, you could, you could tell when somebody not listening to you, and someone's like, mm -hmm. "Once you hit me on the wow, that's crazy. Yeah. That third wow, that's crazy." Or oh shit, wow. Yeah, me, uh, you're not me, listening. I can see through you. I'm just saying. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, why do you think the saying is "be a man of your word and not a woman of your word"? Is the re the reason is because the question, the first question I asked, do y'all ladies ghost people? Y'all all said yeah. What does ghosting someone mean? That means that one. You gave someone your word and then you reneged on your word. That's why the phrase is called be a man of your word. So men definitely do talk themselves out of pwn. That's a fact, right? Women don't talk themselves out of relationships. They act their way out of a relationship. You're acting disrespectful or you're acting thottish. You're out there being promiscuous mm -hmm. or you're acting too masculine. Like it's a masculine behavior you have that would disqualify you from a relationship from a man. Good question though. Uh, DJ question. Voodoo Spells. Anyone else have any questions? Send Dark in the super chat, man. Uh, we live right now. We got five ladies dressed up in Thottawing costumes. <laughs> what did he say? Halloween costumes. What did he say? Thottawing. What did he say? <laughs> and we having some fun. So actually, let's get in. Let's get the ladies involved. And it's Halloween. So we're going to have a Halloween costume contest. We're going to let the live people judge it. Oh, so. God. Oh, Who man. actually? So, Mike, put it on the uh, the wide cam. I could be on this too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, Halloween costume contest. So, chat everybody in YouTube right now. Um, you gonna rate the costume a one? You gonna put a one in the chat if if you like it, or a two in the chat oh if it's God. trash. So, one if you like it. If you rocking with her costume, put a one in the chat. 
If you're not rocking with it, put it too. And uh, ladies, right. what you're going to do is, you, it's real simple because we're on a wide angle. So you see that small camera there, the shorter one? Mm -hmm. So you're going to look wide. inside that. Well, you're going to stand up over here. Oh, God. You're going to um, do a 360, <laughs> do a pose, do whatever you want to do. And what then the take a this seat. Right but here? no, you're going to stay standing. And we got to <laughs> make, uh, we got to uh, get the chat's response first. So let's go with. <sighs> Who want to go first? The 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 uh, Matrix? No, no, not Matrix. No. The uh, oh, Bunny, ba right? <laughs> the, bad yeah. Bunny. Bad Bunny. Come bad on, Bad Bunny. Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> bunny. Let's go, Bad Bunny. Holy water, cause you bad. Oh, Oop. <laughs> sorry, God. I shut him up. Shut him up. There you go. Enjoy. And up. Take a step back, so they can see you. Another step back, and over, over this way, a little bit more. Yep, cause my. There you go. Do a three sixty for the. She's a All right, spicy chat. Bunny. Put a one, put a one in the chat. Hey, put a one in the <laughs> chat. If you rocking with this, with her Halloween costume, and she is a uh, bad bunny. Bad bunny. And uh, put a two in the chat if you think it's trash. Let's see what they saying. Sheesh. Don't be harsh, people. People are God. will be harsh. Okay, for okay, me, come sure. on, come on, people. Yeah, you look cute. Ones and twos. Ones if you like it. Two if it's not. It's that camera oh, the right there. One. It's that small other camera right there, right there. There you go. There you go. You go, girl. Work that thing. Put right. a one in the... Okay, we got... We got a one and a half. Okay. Okay. And we got mostly twos. Mostly oh, no. twos. <laughs> what? Mostly what? twos. That is not oh, trash. Like that is fire. All right. No. So, uh... Okay, thank you. Yeah. Next woman, Halloween so. costume. Yeah, okay. We it's gonna, gonna go me. with... Uh, <laughs> me? We gonna go with you. Oh, Stand right here so in the middle of me. Now. Right here. I know, but what is that on the leg? It's the devil. You're cute. <laughs> All right, chat. Oh. And yeah, I guess she is and the is devil. It. Do a 360 for the chat. The God dang devil. Okay. Oh, you try to <laughs> hold it tail. Wait, hey, chat. Like, what is you the devil. You need holy lame, water. Lame, lame. You need holy water. It's the devil. Uh, put a one in the chat if you rocking with it. Put a two in the chat if you not. And Mike, just keep the camera on the wide one. The whole time? Okay, let's see what they saying. Okay, we got some ones. Finesse put some ones in here. That's the voodoo okay, guy again? Okay, we got ones, we got ones, we got ones. We got a couple twos, but we got more ones. Put a one in the chat if you rocking with her Halloween costume. She is a devil. Put your face in the camera so they see it. Ah, so they see the little horns. And then put a two in the chat if you not rocking with it. Okay, good enough, good enough. It's like... It's kind of even. You 50, even. 50. Yeah. Me? 50 50. Yeah, 50-50. Yeah, literally 50. You got some ones in there. They rocking with it. And we got some twos in there. But I think one, two, three, four, five. You actually got more ones than you got twos. So they rocking with it. Okay. Oh, thank you guys. Um, let's move right along. Let's get Kaylee. Kaylee in there. Kaylee. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Down, girl. Don't forget your whip. We got the costume. Costume. <laughs> yeah, don't forget your whip. Don't forget your whip. Your whip. Need it. You and need Kaylee, it. you can stand right here. They might like that. Okay. All right. It's tall as hell. And do a 360. Uh, chat, rate her costume. If you think it's a one, so. if, if you like it, put a one. If you don't like it, put a two. Throw it back on David. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> put a one in the chat if you rocking with it. Two in the chat if you not rocking with it. Okay, we got some ones. We got some twos. We got a one, I mean two. <laughs> I mean two. We got some ones. Okay, it's almost even. Kaylee, do another 360 for the chat. Let the chat see. <laughs> all right, all right. Go yeah. ahead and take a seat. You good, you good. Yeah. Someone said she played ball. Kaylee, how tall are you? 5'9 without these. Okay, so she's 5'9 without heels, chat. So with those heels on, she's probably like 6'10. Six six nah, six no, she's probably like 6'10. 6'10 is 6'10. She's 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 6'10. Yeah, yeah. So you, you're about 6'10. Um, okay, next up, let's go with um, Trinity. The Matrix. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Okay, take a step back. Over this I way more. I like my costume. Like there you it. go. Like it's okay. Yeah, I ain't. Uh huh. I ain't. The all trench right, coat. All right, all right. 
Okay, put hey, a one in the chat if you rocking with her. She got the Matrix hey, the from back, Trinity. Though. I want to see the back. <laughs> she got the Trinity costume hey, from the Matrix. Hey, hey, okay. Put a one in the chat if you like it. Put a two in the chat if you don't. Someone put a zero. What? What the heck does zero mean? Put a one. Put a one if you like it and a two if you don't like it. We got some ones. We okay. got some twos. You see a two, Mike? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, one, one, one. We oh, got a three. One. I a said a one or two. Oh, you got three. some ones. What, what, what's a three? What is, yeah, what's a three? Okay, okay. You could go ahead and take a seat. It's kind of it's kind of fifty fifty. A lot of them numbers wasn't even part of the. Yeah, it's fifty fifty. We got twos. We Sorry. got a couple ones. Some twos coming in. Okay, fair enough. And last but not least, Gigi. Uh, oh man, I guess. And Gigi, uh, um, this take a step back, Gigi. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, take like in the middle of the yeah, right there, right there. Yep, you mad short, so yeah, you good right there. Okay. Uh, do a three sixty for the cam. Put a one in the chat if you rocking with Gigi's outfit, her Halloween costume. Put a two in the chat if you not rocking with it. Was it bad? And Gigi, you could go ahead and put your face in the camera too. There you go. <laughs> okay, what they saying? They, okay, we got some ones. Go ahead, you can sit. We got mostly ones. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, man, what about me? Okay, we got. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't I... here for the one time. Let me see some. We got yeah. mostly. We got only two, two, two twos, and good? everything else is ones. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Thanks, guys. So uh, it looks like Gigi, I think, may have won that contest. I seen it was more ones. It was only two twos. Everyone else, it was kind of even, or you just like broke with more ones. But she got the most amount of ones, I believe. Thanks. Um, so, uh, what do I win? Two hundred. Uh, Gigi, no, you win some holy water. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go, Gigi. Uh, stay out them streets. Okay. I ain't in the streets, uh, actually. Don't jack that. Okay, okay. Don't jack that. Uh, so, still... moving right along. Uh, actually, let's go to the girls on the panel. Do any of y'all have any questions? No questions? Um, is this random questions? Or yeah, 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 random questions. Shoot okay, it. so I asked them earlier, like, so what if you on the phone with your boo, right? And then they just abruptly just hang up the phone. Hmm. What now, would you think? Are you asking the panel that? or you... Yeah, like everybody, I guess. Like, what uh, you, what you, think? Um, you know what that is. That's, a, that's, that's a just easy a regular answer, question. Like. Yeah, what would you think if I would say if I was on the phone with Shorty and she hung up the phone. Well, something must have happened for the phone to hang up. I feel like their other That's partner the just walked in the room. Yep. Good. That's the first thing I'm thinking. I have plenty of scenarios. Now they're panicking. Of. But uh, so y'all think, oh, y'all thinking like, oh, some cheating, what's going on? Are you what? trying to hide something? Just want to get off the phone? Uh, initially, m maybe I would think like, oh, something happened, like an emergency. But if it goes like hours on and stuff like that, I'm trying to call you back and you're not even answering the phone, then I'm going to start thinking something else. Like, Mike. Like, like what? Like he died on the phone? <laughs> nah, like somebody, like, you know, walked yeah, in and cheating. he just hung up type yeah, shit. Like, you know. Phone died. There's a lot of options. He, he, like was, he was trying to be slick. He almost got caught. Yeah. He yeah. probably did get caught, and that's why he ain't yeah. text you or call you back. Yes. Oh, God dang, it's too late. Block, 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 I had to do a to-do list. I'm like, who's this nigga, Donald okay. Trump? <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> what? Donald Trump. What about a high volume of calls? A high volume of calls. <laughs> you work at a call center? <laughs> what? No. No, bro. When you call that nigga for it, be like, You're, you are go. number 23 in line. I did. I yeah. Your wait time is a half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> like, what the heck? Like, okay, okay. Anyone else? Any questions on the panel? No. No questions? No. Why don't y'all ever have any questions no. for us? Like I want to hear his question. I, I got a question right. for the panel. Are women more valuable than men? If so, why? <laughs> you want to start something? <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say... Um, talk. Tick. Stop it! I would say uh, women, or it's fifty-fifty. I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. You women. say women are more valuable. That's what you said. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And why? Why do you think that? We know more of what we want than men know what they want. So that makes someone more valuable if they know. What uh, they no, want. I'm just. 
honestly, can you elaborate? Because I'm a little drunk and I don't understand. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. But, I'm not just making up excuses. We seen the alcohol not, that y'all had. I didn't even yeah, have anything. I, yes, but I need to... drinking before you came here? Um, yeah, it's because I'm anxious. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, you, yeah, you had like one drink. Um, I just... Moving right along, uh, are women more valuable than men? And if so, why? In a general sense? or like a, what, what? Yeah, just in a general sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I think maybe women are more valuable just because guys, uh, well, I guess people would expect more out of us maybe. Like, um, mm-hmm. I wouldn't say pedestal, but... Um, I don't know, like, I just, we're supposed to be more respectful of ourselves, like, in that regard, versus men, it's kind of like, it's like free game, kind of, so I guess that's where I'm coming from with it, like, so yeah, I guess I feel like uh, women are a little more valuable, I guess. Okay, because of, because of what? You said free game. No, no. <laughs> gibberish, I know, what you're trying to... <laughs> no, I mean, like, versus men, like... Guys are, it's cool for guys to do a lot of more stuff than we are. Like, like okay. if, let's say if y'all want to sleep with, like, mad girls and stuff like that, it's cool. But for women and we sleep with mad guys, it's not cool, like, at all. Like, really, it's kind of nasty. Um, so that's where I was coming from with that, with the free game thing. Like, it's kind of free game on y'all side, but it's kind of not on ours, if that makes sense. Okay. All right, so women are more valuable um, because if they sleep with guys, well, a whole lot of example, but if yeah. they sleep with a whole lot of guys, you know, they will lose their value. But if the guys sleep with a whole lot of girls, they don't lose their value. Yeah, this is a, that's a good example, I guess. Um, I guess I don't know if that makes sense, but moving right <laughs> along, uh, are women more valuable than men, and if so, why? Um, I think women and men are both valuable because we're all equal, and I think that. Each gender deserves to be valued as one. Okay, but if you had to choose one? Um, <laughs> I guess woman, because I am a woman and I value myself. <laughs> so. Okay, fair enough. And yourself? Um, all right, so let me see how I'm going to answer this. I feel like as women, we carry so that... People could be, you know, we got to hold the babies to make everybody. We are more valuable, in my opinion, Okay. in that sense. Um, and I also, I feel like women, because I feel like we're held to a higher standard. Uh, mm, it depends, actually. I can't even. It depends. But I, like, listen, I think we play more important roles when, like I said, like caring. We have to care. You have to go through those nine months. Okay. So you think women play more important roles? If you think that women play more important roles... It's then certain. why don't women have to sign up for a selective service? But men, we do. You mean like to go to the army? What, Once for, we turn 18, we have to sign up for a selective that's service. That's why I said it depends because we do. It's like we need, we need, we need the men, but we need the females. But without the men, without the females, there would be no men. But then dang, without no, it's, it, it's like. That's okay. why I was kind of asking saying, you, like, what do you mean? Like, what sense? It's like, you we need each so. other. We need, okay. we need, we need, we need. That's each why I'm saying we everybody's we equal. We need each other. But if you had to choose, you saying women because. I feel like we really. Yeah, I give birth. Fair yes. enough. Yes. Got it. All right. GG. GG. <laughs> Who's more valuable, men or women? It's tricky. <laughs> I, I feel like. I don't know. I think I'm going to kind of look at it as like my parents because my parents were married over 20 years and the way I look at it is like I don't know I feel like without my dad my mom be losing it I'm just saying like I don't know I feel like also I don't know I just feel like this might this might get get me a lot of hate I also kind of look at like presidency like I can't picture a woman being the president I can't I'm sorry I just can't Like, I just feel like things with women are, like, far too emotional rather than, like, what needs to be done. And I feel like guys more get things done and they provide a lot. And I feel like without being provided for, it's kind of like, I don't know. I feel like they might be a little more valuable because they need to hold down the fort and they have a lot of things that they need. I feel like also, like, you know how people say, like, pretty privilege or, like, 
you know, some type of privilege. I feel like women might have a little more privilege in that sense. I feel okay. like with men, they have to be more. I, I can't explain it. Like, I don't know. It's tricky. Like, okay. I do feel like, though, women are very, very, very important with value, though, as well. Are you like, giving it to the men or the women? But I'm, I'm going to say men. men. Okay. Men are more valuable. As my final answer. And you're alluding to, you gave, uh, not an analogy, but you gave, like, a reasoning. Like, ah, oh, you really can't see a woman being a president. I, um, I look at it as like hey, that. Hey, fair enough. Mm -hmm. That's a good good assessment um and good analysis probably gonna get hate for that but probably no nah, i ain't gonna get no hate you fine so, uh yeah. to be honest most uh americans think that too um, <laughs> if they're being honest with themselves they think it and mm. know it too yeah. um what about to you me. lane so in a general aspect of things uh, not talking relationship we're just talking outside of a relationship i think women are more valuable because men are more expandable we feel like uh expendable expendable yep. yeah you know what i mean so we feel like uh like like if if, if it was a situation to go down here as a fire we as men would try to save y'all and as men hey, every man for themselves if you ain't making it out with me brother you on your own you know what i'm saying but women we we have a a, a, a sense of like caring and trying to save y'all because y'all are a little bit more valuable than men generally speaking but in a relationship wise based off just a relationship the man is more valuable because he can produce more in a relationship than the women can so that's why I feel like, and he, this is relationship and dating, so I'm going to go with men in relationship-wise. Generally speaking, we would definitely save the women before we'd save ourselves, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good. 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 Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I would say, um, since a woman's value is tied to her sexuality, a promiscuous woman, she loses value. But a man's value, his value is not tied to uh, his sexuality. It's tied to protecting, providing, and uh, his accomplishments, what he creates for the world. So that's much different. So a promiscuous man, he doesn't lose value, but a promiscuous woman, she loses value. So when it comes to dating and relationships, uh, um, the a valuable man will be a man that has this sh together. You know what I mean? Uh, a valuable woman is a virgin, a very valuable woman, or with a lower, lower notch count. Um, so that's the dating and relationship aspects of it. Um, then as far as the societal aspects of it, why do you think on the Titanic they say women and children off the ship first? Um, because women are just more valuable to society. You know what I mean? Um, why do you think uh, there's no body shaming? There's no slut shaming? There's no, uh, you know, women are coddled in society. Mm -hmm. You really don't want to. Even if she's a 304, she's been walking on them streets, starting around. Um, you know, you good, Mike? I'll bet. Uh, society still is going to be like, you know, coddle that you know give her a second chance men we don't really get second chances in society if we broken a bum society gonna let us know that we are a broke bum if a woman is a promiscuous whoremonger and broke society's gonna be like go ahead queen you go queen keep doing your thing queen keep slaying girl so from the societal aspect women are more valuable everyone knows that uh from the nature aspect um, and the economic as aspect, uh, men are more valuable because without a man, all of y'all women would have got eaten up by saber tooth tigers, you know, uh, <laughs> 5,000 years ago. Y'all wouldn't even have survived. So the nature aspect of it is men, is men are more valuable because women need men for survival value. And then the societal aspect that women are more valuable is because men need women for replication value. To build a society. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. So that's what I think. But overall, I think that, uh, you know, men in the same game we play, uh, wh why we're created and put on this planet is equal. You know, the value mm -hmm. is, is equal. Mm -hmm. Any questions? Any disagreements? That's what I said, Cooley. You said you it ain't, no you said, said, I said, I said like I was, was a little much. shaky. Like, <laughs> I thought like like I was saying little, that we need each other different. You know, yeah, I didn't say that it was you had to pick a choice. Yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. know what you meant. That's but what it's I was like, up to your, your brain to decide. It's up to your brain to your Even perspective. When trying to, like when I was trying to explain it too, it was like I would think about like we do need each other and this was like, all right, we need women for this, but in the man, that's how I was I was going back and forth. No one said anything wrong. Yeah, no one said anything wrong. 
It was just y'all perspective, and then I gave the <laughs> overall perspective. I like about this both game. Sides. Um, <laughs> this is fun. I think Lane, like, you got any questions? Or are you good? Ooh. Nah, I kind of came just to be the uh, the the comic relief, but I guess do I have one? No, no, mm mm, yeah. Nah, nothing. All right, I think I I'm got one. I'm enjoying your here. questions, actually. Uh, so, <laughs> ladies on the panel, uh, it's Halloween. So, what's the scariest or spiciest thing mm. you've done on Halloween? Starting with oh god dang. Gigi, since but why? You got that why piece. on Halloween? Like, can we just say in general? Yeah, you can like, say in general. In general. In general. Okay. In general. All right, well, I have one spicy thing that I've not accomplished yet, but wants to be done. Um, <laughs> um, I feel like let me, I'm gonna say that because it's like I feel like what I really desire is I want like my boo to put on a very scary mask. And, like, come in and act like he's going to kidnap me. Possibly <laughs> cuff me, throw me in a van or something. And then, like, take me home. And, like, really, like, pretend like it's, like, I'm going to fuck you. And I'm going to be, like, no, please, please don't. Wait, do, so like, out, like, you want to be pretend on. So he's going to be pretending, but you don't want to know. Like, you want yeah. it to be serious. Like, you really got kidnapped. Wait. I mean, so I, I want to know. I just want to role play it. Oh, you just want to role play it. Yeah. That ain't that fun. No, oh, it's fun. No, you want to do no, the real. Fun. Come up there and snatch you up. I mean, that'd be fun, too, as long as I know it's him, you know? <laughs> okay. But I, I feel like the spiciest thing I probably have done or scare. You said scariest? Spiciest or scariest. Scary, spicy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I am a role player, though. Like, I like to pretend like I'm a therapist. It'd be a little scary sometimes. <laughs> Okay. Be like, hi, my name is Susan. I'll be giving ahead, you a massage Lynn. today. Sorry, you know? My brain just started I cooking. Up. <laughs> like, I like to like, I don't know. I like to just be. Can you imagine the acting on that? The nigga just do do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just imagine just the door with a mask. Yes. <laughs> to stop the shit <laughs> and out of just, him. And she and sees I, him. She's like, ah. Oh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> What I, that's what I desire. I'd be like, like, I'd be like, no, please, no, no. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. There is actually times where oh God, the roles are, are reversed. Like I'm the scary motherfucker. Like I like it's a, <laughs> right against the wall. Like. Yeah, oh, we'll you want to be up. the man in a relationship. No, Boxes. like no, no, no. It's just a, for a fun one time, like a little like okay. role play. Like let the uh, switch it up a little bit. Like I like to like take by the neck and just put him on the wall. Uh, <laughs> like he likes it a little bit. Like, yeah, you like that shit. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, like, it's spicy. Yeah. That's spicy. Moving right along. What yeah. about yourself? Uh, I don't Haley. know if she's into role play. That's like what I'm all about. I have this uh, <laughs> fantasy that I've been wanting to live out, but. No man will do it with me because they're just like, oh, I don't know. We go to a bar, right? And we pretend <laughs> we pretend we don't know each other. Fire. Okay. Fire. And then fire. That man get on my nice stand. And then the dude kidnaps me and fire. takes me home, either to my place or his place. And then, yeah, that's it. Fire. Fire. <laughs> it's so fire. What if I'm too, you, what if I'm too you wanna, something here? But you want to know, like, the craziest place? I've had sex in a graveyard, like, years ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't really even talking oh, about sex. Oh, shit. I was just talking in general, but. <laughs> I was just saying, just yeah, that's wild. the scariest she thing. She had there. sex on him. Yeah. <laughs> 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 on his grave. Camera four, Mike. On the grave. <laughs> on him right here. But she I like to role play. I think it's fun. And it like, even if like, it's with someone you're casual with or like in a relationship with, it just spices things up. It makes things more exciting. Okay. You know, okay. instead of vanilla stuff. Yeah. Right, Salim, you know what vanilla is? I had to teach you what that word What's meant. The, what is that? Boring sex. Uh, you didn't know what it meant. It's something us white people say. Vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Always stay a white people's thing. Yeah. Moving yeah. right along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> see yourself. What's the yeah, most scariest or spiciest thing you've done or wanted to do? And you're a devil, so I know you. I've I know you. Never did spicy. anything spicy. You want what? I feel like you keeping like, it very like, full good. <laughs> spicy. I don't. I stay to myself. Kind of like. Good girl, a little bit. I don't be doing like the most. Like, ever had a one night stand? Yeah, I did. That's spicy. <laughs> okay, I didn't think. I, well, I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't consider that. That's fairly spicy. <laughs> but okay. fairly spicy. I guess so then. 
Okay, she don't really got nothing spicy or scary. What about Raven. you? Any um, spicy or scary stories? I don't really have anything spicy because I keep to myself as well. But I think the only thing scary I've ever done was like maybe a zombie at Dorney Park. That's pretty much it. One year to make some extra money. That was pretty fun. That's fun. Yeah. It was oh, like you that. was a zombie. I thought you yeah, said you. Yeah. No, did. I was a zombie. I had to scare people. I was a, it was oh, really fun. I was about it to lie. I thought fun. she said she did a zombie. I no. don't need part for extra money. I'm like, that is extra spicy, sweetheart. <laughs> no, you got no, it. no. I keep to myself. I, d- I never had a one night stand either. Gotcha. Okay. And Trinity, what about you? What's the most uh, a scary or spicy story? I don't think I. I don't know. Said, nigga, I don't you be- had the stories last time. You was throwing dudes around like a rag doll. <laughs> Wait, what? I, mean, I don't know if that was. Too scary. That was. I don't know if that was really scary. Wait, what? I wasn't here for this. <laughs> okay, that wasn't. She, well, you got some some type of story. What you got? I'm trying to think. You put niggas in the figure four. Spiciest <laughs> thing I've done. I'm not even. A, I can't. <laughs> No, no, no. It's not. It's not. I wasn't abusive in this situation oh, or aggressive God. or whatever. Where my Bible? Um, I um, I, I don't even care. You know what? You only live once. Yeah, talk that shit. I'm not gonna say how long ago it was. It's recent. Anyway, okay, so okay. I um, say what you just. This this boy was playing with me, and playing. In, I felt like he was playing in my face, playing with my feelings. So um, I just. I just. <laughs> you s- stole him? No. Oh. I you just, shot him? No. Say it. I just. <laughs> not me getting hot. <laughs> um. I just happened to hang out with his friend. Nah. I fucked his friend. Oh. oh. I would do your thing. You took. It took you that long to say that. Spicy. <laughs> like and, and, and I we it's, we I pulled up in the same. <laughs> Area Airbnb is him with his man's like with no regrets. Mm. So oh. you was talking to the dude and y'all was how long y'all was talking for? Some months. Y'all was talking for some months. And then uh what did he do to get that energy from you? Um he just like he was acting like he wasn't playing about me, like he was serious about me, but I was literally see I was able to see his messages and just see him text he'll text females while he's sitting right next to me. Got you. Uh, I made a fake account and um, you do his. I made a fake account and like I took it real far. I'm not How lie. close of friends were they? They they close friends. Yeah, the friends knew about it. Nah. You may think that they don't know. They don't. You, they, I, can they, I tell they, you how? They could come wait, afterwards. Wait, they didn't know because. He still don't God, know. don't know. Please, nobody. Hey, friends always know. You right? <laughs> no. Not real friends well, always know. know. I'm telling you. Yeah, they real, know. Real now, friends always know. No, no, but real friends know. We know. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, you, 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 you was a homie hopper. Uh, wait, so you only live once. Homie. You only live once. You no, live no, no, once. I'm lying. I'm lying. you choose to decide what no. you do with your life. No, no, no. no I'm not going to lie. judge. But it, I didn't mean it. This is safe. I have, I, have no, I, have no, I can't even sit here and justify it. That's okay. Mike, give me Who was better, me the Mike, original dude Mike. or the homie? Oh, that's a good question. Jesus. That's a good question. Oh, that is a good question. Oh, shit. I, what? About like, who was better, the original dude or the homie? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you Here know they might know. see this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Nah, but niggas don't care about that either. Dudes don't care about it. We really don't give a shit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, like, but hit the button. <laughs> we ain't got the buttons no more. We got the Bible though. Oh, we got the Bible. Uh, what it's saying? It says in Corinthians. You got it. Uh, you got who is who is better, the original man or the homie? We need a question now. You've been taking long to answer. Let's was go. it worth it? Yeah. Forget the word. Oh, uh, it was worth it. So that means he was better then. Was he better? Yes or no? We need the answer solidified. You just. I'll let y'all know tonight. <laughs> Okay, oh. yeah, he was better. By the end of tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If cool. she about to meet up with him again and not the original guy. No, 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 no. no. I'm, all right, I don't oh, know. Oh, you about to spin the bin on the OG? Out. Did you ever spin the block back on the original no, guy? No, So, oh, then he, so was he was better. done. Yeah. So you just stuck with the, the new dude? Or you just... The, I don't the, know, it's only been two days. Was the new dude a, the one night stand? Like, 
It's only been two days. I need, I need some time. Shit fresh. Oh, it's fresh. She needed. She needed. She needed a redo. Ooh. So Ooh. if he ain't smack it right the first, okay. No, I'm, I'm just my mind. That's what. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so it's only been two days. I'm just, I'm and you got that thing tossed around. Oh my god. Uh, and bought a new dude, <laughs> and you pretty much saying that the new dude clapped it better. <sighs> um, Celine, sprinkle the holy water on her. Let's get the holy water. <laughs> I'm holy, gonna, is I, it, I'm let's gonna, get the holy. I'm first of all, I want to start hug. off with a prayer. I'm, let's pray. I'm gonna speak let's to pray. the lady pray, about pray. it. Let's pray for. Let's pray. Holy, is it holy considered water. a one night stand if you're still fucking with them after that though? Yeah. Uh, nah, nah. You uh, had a one night stand. Just that you, yeah, that means that yeah, you had a one night stand, but that one night stand may have elevated elsewhere. Yeah. It's yeah, people that. I'm not the, okay, it's people so that got in relationships. Because I was like. Okay. It wasn't like a hit it and quit it type. Yeah, no, no, no. That's not a one night stand. Really hit it. I take my shades off. It. I want to at least hit it twice. I can't believe I just pulled <laughs> out. At least hit that. it a couple times. Yeah, yeah. two or three times. Uh, you never it, like you got a a slight sex chemistry built like just to <laughs> yeah, see if it yeah, get a little gotta, bit spicier. What yeah, if it's still gotta, there? Like ah, it's the temperature. But um, <laughs> okay, fair enough. And I used the last one that went. And that was just spicy. Yeah, I hate this guy. <laughs> but now, before y'all even do me, what are y'all thoughts on that? Nah, nah, nah. You're definitely going viral. Uh, <laughs> well, what are your thoughts on this? I need to know. This is uh, my first time. You only live. I'm, I'm just. So, so what is, I'm new to this. So, and Luke, okay. uh, it says that. Um, <laughs> so they don't have uh, the word like thought thoughts in the Bible. But they do have. Uh, but they do have harlots. Uh, and. That's what it would say. You are a harlot, no, homie hopper. But, but I didn't even tell you. I didn't even get to <laughs> tell you that. Y'all yeah. forgetting that it's Halloween. I had just wanted to see what it was like to be that for Halloween. Ooh, spicy. Oh, spicy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For Halloween, you just wanted, you wanted to play the streets for a little that bit. That good thing is Halloween. Like, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had, yeah, you had yeah, the yeah, costume yeah. on. You was in that. You was hey, in look, character. Hey, look, you got till you Tuesdays. You got till the 31st, right? That's yeah, the, like, so it's not 31st. nothing serious. Like, yeah. at, least it, at least it was only for Halloween. Yeah, exactly. It's just for pretend. Yeah, yeah. Uh... I dress up as a good nigga for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, ladies, y'all got any questions? Funny no. questions? Anything? No, nothing. No, no. Okay, Where are your questions? It. You don't have any? I mean, I got a hundred. I got a hundred questions, oh, okay. but um, <laughs> I mean, let's get into some fun stuff. Then, if you know, some stuff that's gonna trigger some people. Yeah, trigger, yes. trigger questions. Uh, yeah. Yes. I need to pick. Starting me. with Gigi. Okay. Without blaming a man, why can't you keep a man? Hmm. That's a good question. The streets. The streets. The streets are fun. Why can't I keep one personally? Without blaming a guy? So yep. I guess, like, what am I doing wrong is what you're asking me? Yeah. What do I do wrong? Well, well, well. You have to tell us. Yeah, you gotta tell. You like, to without blaming no, the man, no, I'm asking why you, like, am I basically him? saying what I'm doing wrong yeah. to not keep him? Pretty much, yeah, that's the question. Mm. Yeah, he just wants you to take a little bit of being accountability. goddamn too good. That's not accountability. That is, that is good. <laughs> that's that is, opposite accountability. I'm too good. They always think it's the, the problem is, and I'm not blaming them. I get it. Sometimes they think it's just too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Nah. And then yeah, they always we can't. It's just we just won't take truth. that answer. So uh, no, but you uh, should take the answer. We want you to. Okay, so you want me? Uh, yes. Okay, so something that I do that is probably not good. Well, no, no. It's just without blaming a man. Why do you think so? You, you want a relationship or or wanted a relationship, right? They all do. They all do. I I I feel like I'm like on the verge of almost being in one. Okay, well, fair enough. It's always like that sometimes, though. Lit but no, lit excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> officer. I'm literally on the verge of almost being in a relationship. Literally, that's like, like a dude saying, "Yo, yo." No, I'm, no, yo, no. Yo, look, look. I'm no, on the verge of getting this, bro. I'm about to hit it. No, she listen, may let me listen. hit, bro. She may let me uh, hit. You but hold on. on. She may let me hit, bro. She may let me. You ain't gonna hit. Priest, please. This is this is confession. It's hold from on, the Lord. Buddy. Hold on, because so if you take a girl on the first day, you're going to cover the next day. Give it some time. Let it settle. OK, you dip your foot in the water before you jump in. OK, so hold on. How okay. long have you been talking for? <laughs> a month and a half. We're almost there. She said on a verge. On a verge. How much does he make a year? What? How much does he make a year? Didn't ask that question. Does he drive a nice car? Yes. Does it seem like he makes yes. six figures a year? Yes. Is he over six foot? Yes. Is he black or white? Black. Black? Dreads. 
Dreads, <laughs> sexy. Yeah. No, he's a good one. Yeah, yeah, I ain't. Yeah, you done. No, he's a good one. Trust and believe. Trust and believe in God, Jesus Christ <laughs> Almighty. It's a good one. But you know, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my last relationship to answer your question. Then. Fair enough. All right, I'll use my last one. I would say all your previous ones. Like, why couldn't you right. keep, keep them in? Without blaming them, if that was really okay. Without blaming them, because I would blame them, but without, because it without really, is their, uh, really is their Mike. fault. It really is. But if we, okay, if we're just gonna. Sorry, I ever do. Really is their fault though. But okay, um, I would say maybe just um. I guess I feed into the toxic energy sometimes. Like I'll feed into the toxic energy instead of let it go. I think okay. that's a good answer. So, that's like. 25 percent accountability because you're saying that there's already toxicity but i really don't do anything wrong the toxicity so it's really not a good question for me yeah i'm just uh, being honest i ain't never cheat before moving right along i'm just, <laughs> I'm just <laughs> a question for you okay so you don't think you did anything wrong i really don't i mean no like i said I've, i have fed into the toxic energy with it like i might have said some impulsive things that i regret before like if it's a heated argument i probably can be a little like faking you know, your death? That's a little mask. Yeah. Little like that. Crazy <laughs> faking a death. Yes. Right, that was when I was 16, actually. I forgot to clear that up. Oh, I was 16 years old. On the, on the podcast. You know that went viral, right? It got like 3 million. Yeah, yeah I, I got that. But I was 16 years old. So. You untagged yourself. You could have had I definitely will untag myself. Yeah. <laughs> I have people DM me like, is that you? I'm like, no, that's <laughs> not me. Uh, uh, Kaylee, uh, without blaming a man, why can't you keep him in? Um, and ladies, y'all should have y'all answers ready. They think I see it processing <laughs> over there. They over there cooking something. They cooking up something. Go ahead, Kaylee. Well, I don't know. I just feel like I'm never enough for a man. Sometimes, like oh. personally, hmm? I feel like it doesn't matter how much I provide. It's there's something that they. And want what are you elsewhere. providing to the men? Do you think, or what aren't you providing? I provide like everything that you're supposed to provide as a woman. What's those things? Can you name like three of them? Yeah. Um, emotional connection, loyalty, and trust. I guess oh, that's so like out of those two. three, the loyalty and trust, yes. Emotional connection, that's men, we don't look for that. Um, <laughs> All right. That's well, more like a woman. I know how to take care of, of a man, too, if that matters. You know how to take care of a man? Yeah. Okay, like what? Cook, clean, um, oh, intimacy. Oh, Okay. You know, like, what you're supposed to offer. All right. Fair enough. Um, and uh, starting, oh, on to you. Why, without blaming a man, why can't you keep a man? Um, well, with the guys I've dealt with, I'd say maybe because I didn't use my judgment uh, as good. Well, not not to say as good. I, I ignored things that I should have, like, cut off. <laughs> okay. So, I could... That's the only thing I could think of. Is that still kind of taking nah, accountability? Like because 25, 50 percent of yeah. accountability. That's like he did something wrong. He still had to do and something then to make you be like, "Oh well, I didn't see that red flag." But um, go before that. Why do you <laughs> think? Good. You know, without blaming a man, you can't keep him in. I can't speak for the because you want a relationship, right? Right. Okay. So, and like, the, the guys you spoke to in your past or currently, um, you know, obviously you know that men give out relationships. So it's like without blaming him, why do you think that you couldn't keep him or get a relationship with that guy? Like in a sense, did you feel like you might have lacked something that you could have done better? You'd be like, well, I know if I would have done this, then I probably you know, the live relationship would have been a relationship. Yeah. Or lasted. Yeah. Oh, so everybody's just perfect. Mm, cool. Okay, cool. No, okay. Mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. I don't Got think it. that. It's just um the guys I've done I've dealt with, they just ended up cheating on me or in some type of way. And, and who 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 broke up with who? I always broke up. Okay, you broke up with them. Same. Okay. Same here. Same. So okay, no, so you broke up with the guys the after they like, after mm -hmm. they cheated. Yeah. So um, you're saying that you just couldn't take the cheating, so you broke up with the man. Why do you think the man cheated? Good question. I could 
maybe speak for one of the relationships I've been in. Um, I was pregnant at the time. I didn't really feel like I was always sleeping and stuff, and I didn't really feel like having sex and stuff like that. And he just decided to go talk to other girls. So, I mean, maybe I wasn't giving him enough at the time, but it wasn't like we wasn't at all. Was it's there just... ever a relationship that you had with a man and the man didn't cheat? Yes. Okay. And what happened with those guys? Um. Why couldn't you keep dumb? They ain't cheat. It just wasn't working out. Like, we just were arguing too much. Like, and I, who broke up with who? I broke up with him. So you even broke up with the dude that didn't cheat? <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, if we can't, like, talk to each other, then it's like... You God know, dang. Explain. You give the, the, the woman a moon. You give her the stars, the sun. Jesus could come back. So baby, what else you want from me? I mean, what do you want? What do you, what do what you, you want to stay with a girl that, I mean, or stay in a relationship where you can't, like, communicate with each other? Like, I don't But know. what he's trying to say, at some point, it had to go left. And is there anything that you could have done that kept it right? People lose feelings, though. Don't always have to be yeah, something. Then, like, so people this, just lose so feelings. I'm going to just wake up one day and be like, mm, Yeah. He get didn't, the like, hell out of here. it was just weird. Nah, it, it was a, yeah. just so weird because he didn't. It's a build he up wasn't to that. really, like, affectionate, like, that after a while. Like, I don't know. He wasn't, like, mm -hmm. he didn't even want me touching him. Or, like, he was always just playing the game and stuff like so that. So then that's what you got to say that you wasn't, you wasn't applying to his physical needs. I was trying to. He didn't want me to. Trying and doing is two different things, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. If he's not okay. going to let me do it, then I'm so, not going to force myself on him. <laughs> And remember uh, in the beginning of the podcast where I said um, there's multiple ways to pretty much when once you have sex, you have to add value out, outside of sex. So he, he things didn't go. I mean, dudes going to be dudes. So they may want some other poon. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, it could have been a reason if like one of the reasons why he was cheating could have been maybe you weren't adding value outside of sex. Like you over here thinking like, oh, what, you know, OK, I'm not in the mood to do it. I'm tired. I'm sleeping all the time. What else can I do to, you know, keep I mean, my man? I mean, it's you never thought about that? one of them and making sure like the paperwork and his bills and stuff is in order. Is that one of them? Because that's what I was doing. I mean, yeah, that could be one of them. That could, that could yeah, that could be one of one of the reasons why a man would stay. But fair enough. You your answer is kind of just like, ah, you know, uh. You don't really know, I guess, of why, you know, yeah, why I you can't. I try to do the best I can, honestly. I feel like at least, like, I don't. Got it. Move right along yourself. Without blaming, blaming a man, why can't you keep him in? Um, I feel like I had just have trust issues and anxiety from my past relationships. And that causes to eventually push a guy away. And I know that for a fact because it's happened just because I've been through a lot. I have a lot of PTSD and trauma from ex-boyfriends. So that's kind of why I like just focus on myself because I'm um, focusing on my mental health. So I'm not doing that anymore because yeah. trust is a big thing in relationships. You have to have trust in order to have, you know, a healthy relationship. And if I'm not providing that trust for that person and I'm just having anxiety and overthinking situations because I've been hurt and I'm seeing red flags. So that that alludes that's what that says is you're pretty much you're not blaming the current man but you're blaming the past man <laughs> which is so yeah. what i'm saying is uh you're saying because you've been hurt you've in the past now you have trust issues so when you the current men that you date um you still have trust issues and those trust issues is the reason why you can't keep them in so that's just that's you're you're not blaming the current man you're blaming past men but my question is without blaming any men mm -hmm. past uh, you know, present, present or future. future. Why can't you keep them in? Um, I mean, I've been cheated on before, so I feel like Trauma. there's That's been the same thing, though. But there's That's been times like the where thing. I've just worked too much and I haven't given them enough attention. And did you end a relationship, or they ended the relationship? Um, there's been times it's been mutual. Or... That was never mutual. Someone always end, ends it. Motherfuck. Um. Well, a couple of relationships I have, and then there's been maybe one where they have. Okay, one where they have. Got it. Um, okay, so you can't think of a reason of why maybe one of the relationships, or just overall, like total, totality, why do you think that you couldn't keep a relationship? And the reason why I'm asking this question is because it's a woman's job 
to keep the relationship. Like once you spread your legs open to a man, okay, think about it. It's it's he has all the power now. So it's your job to acquiesce your behaviors to get the relationship. Just like prior to you opening up your legs, it was his job to acquiesce his behaviors to get you to open up your legs. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, think about it. Like we all know incels, guys that really don't get sex. Like there's a statistic out that one in three men are virgins uh, between the ages of 18 and 30. So that means that 33% of men um, aren't having sex, um, uh, didn't have sex in a year or are virgins. So, I mean, that pretty much tells you that a majority of men can't get sex mm -hmm. or have trouble getting sex. But women, and we know why those men can't get sex, right? And I think the women know why those men can't get sex. But it seems like the women don't really know why they can't get a relationship. Because there's no, like, statistic for that, right? <laughs> unfortunately. <clears throat> um, Which makes sense. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but I'll, I'll move it right along. Trinity, a.k.a. Kiki, do you love me? Are you writing? <laughs> So you never ever leave from beside me, cause I want you. Can I? Y'all like my singing? Yeah, you got it, my boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got it. A little bit. All right, but go ahead, Key. Why can't you, uh, without blaming on. a man, why can't you keep a man? Um, alright, I'm just be honest. Be honest. Be no fool gay. No fool gay. You be being no fool gay. So keep it. No fool gay. What we like. That's what we here for. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it very real. Um, I'm a jealous type. Um aggressive was aggressive i changed i told y'all i'm really changed boxers aggressive. boxers you know yeah um you, you I, i'm not aggressive no more said it, but that's in the past why um but like i said jealous type um clingy mm -hmm. um petty like mm. childish a little bit so you all of those things, that's why you can't keep them in. And the relationships that you've had, did they break up? And how, how old are you again? I never got broken up. I'm 22. I okay. never actually got broken up with, but... You you broke up with those, them dudes. Got you. So it was just... But I feel like it didn't work because of those things. It didn't work because of those things. Okay, fair enough. So, like, because of you, those traits within you, the jealousy, the craziness, the aggressiveness... Um, it caused issues in the relationships with then you then was like, ah, oh, I don't really like the way this is going. I don't feel the vibe. So you broke up with them. Yeah. Fair enough. And the clingy part too. Like if I feel like I couldn't see them all the time too, like what's the point of us even? So I would just like, all right, dude, we're not, we're done. I can't you. see you when I want to. Go ahead, Gigi. I want to add something because I did go first. So I had time to like cook up and think about something yeah. that I didn't think of before. Definitely a big one is probably my Instagram because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like sometimes my Instagram, just like people, like it's it's hard for me to kind of like keep somebody because of my Instagram. I swear, because everything always like goes back to that. Whether it's like the amount of followers I have mm -hmm. or like little side mirror pictures, it's like I don't know. I feel like it causes a lot of problems. Too much thoughtarisma going. No, on actually, on actually not. Fuck so you, you because I am not a thought. Thank you very no, much. I, I no, 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 no. Thotarisma. Okay, guys, watch it. Watch it, buddy. All right. I'll come over you there. Rip, skin? rip that fucking them, cross off. I've seen the gram. Okay, and no you've way. seen the gram. So. <laughs> and in 1 Corinthians, it says right. that uh, women there, there's no should not be out, showing no, titties no skin, out. no hips, uh, well, I have no skin lips. right here. So did you call, would you call? actually, I'm going to ask you a question fighting. right now. Do you Put think I'm a down. thought because this right here is showing? Nah, you good. I mean, this is skin right here because right now I see I right. see a little bit of arms on you, you buddy. You you so. being no fugazi, so I'll give you that. You are taking accountability. So good that you noticed that your Instagram yeah, is did. a part of the problem with you not keeping the man. Definitely. Fair enough. Uh, all right. Uh, lame. What you <laughs> got on that? Your takes? Well, no, I wanted to because she mentioned something, and I don't oh, know if it's good. a question or if I just want to. No, go ahead. Right through go. it. But it was, you said you had PTSD in in a way. Yeah. So it's uh, you have trauma from how guys treated you in the past. So you reflect that on the new guys, even though they haven't done anything yet. Right. And you still hold them accountable for what happened in the past. Do you think that's a healthy thing? Yes or no? No, not at all. So don't you think you should just forgive them and start fresh with yeah, every new guy? Yeah. Now, why can't you, though? Um... Actually, I think I can. Um, I have. But then the guys I date, 
I just see red flags and then I see the, the same guys I date. It's always the same cycle, the same guys, the same personality, the same <clears throat> things. And I keep getting treated the same way. Yeah, so which is it's, a, it's just a recurring cycle. So that's why I get the way I am. But then, you know, I um, either bottle it up or. And then I just go ahead and talk about it. And then they don't like when I talk about well, it. Well, you don't need to. Do, okay. So life is a learning experience, right. as we know. So this guy, you might have found some good traits in him, of but course. you also may have found some bad traits in him, right. right? So you take those bad traits and you learn what not to what not to tolerate from the next guy. Exactly. So when you see it, you cut it off immediately. You exactly. don't tolerate it because then you're not bringing your trauma into them, but you're also not bringing your trauma into your future as well. Exactly. You understand And that's that? what I did with the last guy because I did see a lot of red flags and I didn't, um, I had a lot of anxiety, but I didn't address that. What I, what I did, I just kind of, well, you're not so, don't there. never let it go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just address it. Yeah. If they're not willing to, uh, I guess, change, not even uh -huh. change, but like remote or remodel themselves to what you ask for, then you just get rid of it. Exactly. But I don't think it's healthy to carry trauma, period. Right. You know what I'm I agree with you. Yeah. And that's why I'm taking time to work on my own mental health hmm. to heal so that I don't. Because you could prevent uh, uh, a blessing for you. Mm hmm by charging what the guy in the past did like you know what i'm saying onto the other guy right so you kind of just want to be like look i washed my hands with him mm -hmm. it didn't work right fuck that i'm going to try fresh it's a new start mm -hmm. every, every day is a new day you mm -hmm. get what i'm saying you could you could change and add to you every day of you course. understand that so you want to be better you don't want to carry trauma because it's just unhealthy for exactly. you exactly yeah. and unhealthy for any yeah, relationship and I, in the future and i realize that and i've taken the time to realize that too yeah, um, i'm very aware of that oh, how so. old did you say you were i'm 29 there, 29 yeah you're 29 so, so i've been through it so that's why i'm aware when i was in my early 20s i wasn't aware and I was just letting the red flags come in yeah. and just kind of dealing with them. And now it's like, you know, I'll see what I don't like. And it's like, I'll either address it now mm -hmm. and say what I don't like. And I'd rather them do the same thing because I'd rather honesty mm -hmm. and trust well, between that person. you're 29? Yeah. That pussy should be on clearance because uh, <laughs> you about to hit 30. So <laughs> you about to hit like 30 because... <laughs> I mean, what like, the you got to think about it. The more men, men value oh, purity. This is I what I want to say, right? Men value purity. And I get what you're saying. It's good that you learn it from your mistakes. Of course. But oh. when men value purity to the extent where it's you're explaining it perfectly with what you're saying. And it's not just you. It's most mm -hmm. women, right? Oh, yeah. The more course. you experience, the harder it is for you to overcome trauma and overcome adversity it takes the time that you've been in it's not, not an overnight that, thing the past situations with your past men you carry those traumas to the new man so the the current man is going through things that he shouldn't even be going through he already you feel lost. what i'm saying feel right. what i'm saying so it's not even it ain't even always about the body count mm -hmm. right it's about the woman's experience the more things a woman experience the harder, the more hardened she is, the more hardened she becomes because the more trauma she's experienced. Right. So what I'm saying is that that push she should be on clearance for right now. You shouldn't have more guards up. You should have less guards up because the more guards you have up, you're just going to be disqualifying actually good guys that would actually take you seriously. Right. But um, <laughs> good cop, bad cop. You you keep that thing good. You hear me? That shit should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full what I'm price. saying is, yeah, this nigga. Oh, this dude over here is simping. He said full price. That's what I was calling you simp in the chat. Nah, nigga. It's good cop, bad cop. Oh nah, 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 nah. That thing should nah, be on clearance, yeah, yeah. bro. She's 29. But clearance in a way where still have discernment, still court, you know, uh, weed out the good ones and, you know, stick with the guys that's going to give you a long-term relationship instead of uh, just short-term. Right. But as far as the clearance, I mean, like, still lower some of those standards that you've had mm -hmm. you, you get what i'm saying because yeah. then it's gonna it's gonna be hard to find a guy and keep a guy right what else you had lane that was kind of no no, no i get what you're saying i was you know oh. I, be, I joke all the time but i get what you're saying obviously the older she get the more it's been through you can't hire your standards because you lessen your chances yeah. of like for men it's the allowing opposite. men in the you know more what I'm we go through the more we could increase our the more we go through and overcome the more we can increase our standards because uh, an experienced man is attractive. Women are attractive to an mm. experienced man. They're attracted mm. to a man that has experience because an experienced man has more a higher probability of protecting and providing for you. Mm. you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But an experienced woman 
she's normally had some trauma and she's bringing her trauma into the current relationship. And we don't like that. That comes off as masculine. It comes off as just like, ah, too much to deal with. Yeah. So we'll hit it a couple of times and then Baggage. we'll keep it pushing. You get what I'm saying? That's why a woman, the older she gets and the more experience she has, she got to put that thing on sale. The, uh, the older we get and the more value we create, uh, we can increase our value uh, and, you know, look for higher quality of women and higher class women. Well, we'll have a better probability of obtaining the higher quality and higher class women. For women, too, because, you know, at a certain age, we can't have kids anymore, too. Yeah. And True. Also it's a biological older, reason. That we aren't as fertile, like, when we get older, too. Is that yep, yep. When you're 35, I believe women lose about 80% of their eggs. You know what I'm saying? Not but, as attractive. Uh, oh, <clears throat> you're not as attractive as e either. You know, yeah. when you're 23... <laughs> You skin is nice. Everything is a little bit more tighter. Ooh. The probability is just higher that you've experienced less penises. <laughs> uh, when you're 30, yeah, the probability is higher that you've experienced more. more yeah. yeah. Things and when you, that a man have to go through. And when you're 30, you just might be too tired to give that box up. With them young things, you're just energetic. You just want to go. See? You know what I mean? Younger things are better. Facts. <laughs> I asked this on the last podcast, but the ladies couldn't even answer it. So starting with uh, Trinity, what what's one reason you might call a man insecure? Um, if I'm like, all right, so if I'm like having a regular conversation with another male and just, yeah. we're just having a and he feel and he calls me friendly. <laughs> okay. Facts. He calls you yeah, friendly. That is funny. So you having a you? I'm just having a casual conversation. Okay, with another he's, male. He's calling you, oh, and then he calls me friendly. friendly. Yeah, like, think he insecure. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I keep okay, that. what about you? What's one reason you're not supposed to be talking to nobody? What the look, fuck at you? You. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. Is you What's dumb? What's one reason uh, you would call a man insecure? Um, if he's narcissistic and he doesn't want you to have other male friends, even though he's met them, um, I think that makes a guy insecure. Okay. And uh, what about you? What's one reason you would call a man insecure? If he's just taking offense to general conversations, like, because my ex used to do Speaking that. Speaking of Mike a little bit? My ex used to do that. He used to, um, I was, we was just having a conversation about the Illuminati and stuff like that. And I was just trying to ask him to explain to me why he believes in it. And then, he, and then he started getting pissed off, like, oh, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? I'm like, I just want you to tell me. Like, so you was testing his competence, so that's why he was kind of. Well, because he said he believed it, and I didn't, I'm not going to say I didn't believe it, but I just wanted him to show me, like, what Do you believe you in it? I'm kind of, like, in the air with it, because I don't know. I don't know that's nothing about true. it. Like, I get it. Okay, so, yeah, so, okay, so he seemed insecure to you because he reacted from you testing his and competence, and off. he reacted in a more, like, a. Uh, an That's, emotional way yeah like okay snappy, like. makes sense and kaylee uh what's the wrong reason um you might call a man insecure if he lacks confidence and then like he says like oh i'm not hot or i'm not good enough for you or i'm not good looking <laughs> yeah. enough for you there's so many other men out there why do you like me and you had a man say that to you and you was having sex with that man yeah and i was just like maybe it's because i like your personality and you make me laugh and you're not a dickhead why does this matter if like you're the most attractive man on earth? It might be ugly. Okay, fair enough. I'm just saying, like <laughs> I don't go for looks. Gotcha. That's a bonus for me. If you can make me laugh and you treat me good and with respect, all right then. Okay, so if a dude had um uh no, you good? If a dude had one eye and no legs oh, and fuck. no arms, Why would you and do everyone this to called me? him eye drop. <laughs> Why um, would you uh, date him? Yeah, because he'd be funny as hell. <laughs> That's pretty much what you're saying. You know what? We're blind for funny guys. <laughs> I like funny guys, but also I will say, if you don't know what you're doing in the bedroom, it's a no for me. Okay, now nah, you ain't answer my question. He got one eye. He got no arms and no legs. And everybody call him eye drop. You talking about it's all about personality and you know how he okay, makes you well, feel. Okay, well, it could be that that looks too, but that's not my main focus. My Speaking of Mike. Mm. That's not my main focus. Wait, wait. Personally. Can I, okay. Can I just... Hey, can, I, <laughs> <laughs> can we no, rewind he, to the beginning of the podcast when she said that didn't even matter? What? Wait. Sex? Me? In size? 
Me? No. I don't think that part was recorded. I didn't recorded. say that. Oh, okay. We wasn't I didn't that say that. What the hell? Yeah, you said... What Because you said a guy sent you a frontal picture, and it doesn't matter what he has because sex is not important to you. Am I right? This is not a sex. Okay. I was yeah, just... I, yes, that was but right, I was right? saying <laughs> the personality <laughs> is more important yeah. to so me. So, go back to his question. If a guy was named I Drop and he was around <laughs> smell like, like this... But he was funny as hell. He was he could do stand up. I mean he Kevin Hart funny. <laughs> would he still be able to qualify for you? Why would you put me in that position? Yeah, it's because you're capping. You're being very fugazi. The answer oh, is uh you definitely care about looks to a degree. Not mm -hmm. to a degree that men care about looks, but you do want you do have a you're five nine, you're not gonna date no one five two. You but that's this. the same for men too. No, I'm six foot four and I will date a girl that's five two. I would. Wow. Um, but I'm just saying, I'm offensive. Not, really, not at all. Yeah, that makes me feel I'm bad. I'm five one and a half. <laughs> He's, yeah. I mean, like, I, uh, men will date shorter girls. What? Like, I care. never said. I thought you just said you wouldn't you date you someone would. five two. No, I said would. I would date someone. Oh, five two. I don't have a problem like, with wait, short why? people, but a lot of the times, men that are shorter than me won't date me because I'm tall and it intimidates them. Okay, so okay, that's so, a, and so you think that that is since you're five nine, <laughs> shorter thing. guys they will are not. insecure. They will, they will not date me because got it. Gigi, uh, um, I'll use two things as, as an example. One is like, for example, when I'm tattooing my clients, I've had people in the past like, if I'm tattooing a guy, they don't like that. I'm like, I'm so serious, this has actually happened. I'm like, oh, like, I literally did a tat on a guy, like, up here on his leg. I'm like, oh, you're right by his dick. I'm like, it's my job, like, you know. But um, that, and then also I feel like accusations. A lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of accusations. Constantly accusing someone of doing something when they're not doing a goddamn thing. Or never gave them a reason to believe that they're doing Do that. Think because your it, Instagram would give the guy the reason oh that God. you're doing I, I think that might <laughs> potentially. Mm -hmm. But there ain't nothing going on. So anything like, like I literally have had people be like, oh no, you probably have so many hoes, you so probably like have so this. many guys. Yeah, put just because I have thirteen point seven, I put you. It doesn't game. mean so. Just how nothing a man holds a big stake in a woman's purity, her sexuality. A man, a woman holds a a huge stake in a man's ability to protect and provide a man's finances right so what have you heard rumors that this dude in debt his car ain't really his you know um or what he's displaying is kind of like a used carsman sale type vibe you'll be having those questions <laughs> too like well is this dude really you know doing anything you get what i'm saying yeah i wouldn't care about that no 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 you would care I wouldn't. if you were hearing things about the dude being I wouldn't. broke. I actually wouldn't. And he didn't have it. What I'm saying is it would bring up questions where you may question It would bring guy. up a question once they clear the air. All right, but, cool. But yeah, on. that's what I'm saying. So just like you having the, uh, the putting up some, maybe if you have some thoughts right, cool, stuff yeah, up yeah, on cool, cool, IG, cool. the man would but have this like, in his mind. Well, let me ask her about what she right, really cool, doing cool, last cool. night. <laughs> all right, cool, cool, cool. But I'm just saying, like, all right, you could bring that up, like, one time. All right, cool, get it, whatever. But you have my Instagram password. I don't really give a shit at that point, honestly. You give, you give, you give the Instagram Hell yeah, password? I don't care. You have it. The, the dude that you've been it. talking to I for a month I told him he could have it. He don't want it. He didn't take it? I told him you but could take it. But that's insecure as a man, even. I'm, just, I'm not using so him as an example, by the it. way, because he he's not insecure at all. He doesn't not accuse it. me of nothing. He's very, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, not in past, nothing. someone who constantly, like, every single day, like, I've had somebody who would blow my phone up 50 times. I'm in the middle of a tattoo and I don't answer. I'll take my gloves off, pick up the phone like, what? I'm doing a tattoo. No, no, no. FaceTime me. FaceTime me. I don't believe you. I'm like, no, no, no. Bitch, you sucking dick. You not out there. Where you out there <laughs> sucking dick? I'm telling you that like, I've heard <laughs> shit like this and that yeah. to me is a very big insecurity Got because so what, what it's what like, do, it's not like the accusations at first. It's like the constant every single day, multiple times a day. Never give it up. Never give it a Got break. You. So the one you alluded to with what you do for your your yeah. career they're thinking that you're doing things yeah. on a job fair enough okay yeah. Um, yeah, well imagine if you strip so uh i think someone <laughs> over here says something about a dude uh being insecure what did, what did you say why was it the dude insecure for me yeah you said something um basically being narcissistic and accusing and accusations 
you said being narcissistic. You didn't say accusations. You said something else. What did you say? I don't remember now. You know what she said, Liam? <laughs> Of why her man was insecure. Yeah, why would she be? Why would she think? What's like a reason she would think? She a man said it's because of her past trauma. Remember? No, no, no. No, no. that was a different. Yeah, that was a different one. Well, then, no. I mean, hey, look. You remember? It's okay, fair enough. I think you said something about um the man is insecure if he's asking where I'm at and what I'm doing. Right. That's what you said. Even if I'm showing him pictures and FaceTiming him and he's like blowing up my phone gotcha. and not so believing all, where I'm we at. We on the same spectrum a little yeah. bit. Gotcha. Yeah. And then so they're the still accusing that's you. What you're saying. And then they're still accusing you, but you're doing what you're supposed to, but they think that you're doing something else on the side when you're really not. Yeah. So um, here's the truth, ladies. Everything y'all said, the man doesn't feel insecure. You may like think that you're wrong. it's almost you like know. putting. Uh, you put up this guard, you put you you put a shaming because the first question we all alluded to that a man cares more about the woman's actions and not what she says. Right. So what you do is you put up a face guard to to guard your actions. So you say, oh, he's insecure. He's insecure. So you could continue to keep on doing the same things that you was doing to keep having those same behaviors. Wrong. So my point is this, That's right? Wrong. The fact that you you're blaming the man on him being insecure, but he's not. Men, we don't care about where you're going because we want. Oh, like, oh, where you're going, what you're doing. No. But a why do they has go? A natural proclivity. But why to don't they believe you? Listen, a man has a natural proclivity to protect and provide for a woman. Part of him protecting you is knowing where you are and what you're doing. Right. right? So it's not an insecurity because that's our duty. If he didn't know or didn't even have that proclivity to be thinking about who you, where you are, what you're doing and who you're with, no. he's not willing to really protect and provide for you. He's more of a beta male. You should run. Cause he's not gonna. If an intruder breaks in the house, that dude would be like, "Well, go downstairs and check on it." <laughs> that dude wouldn't even have it in him to walk down the stairs and go check on that intruder. That dude wouldn't have it in him to be, you know, wanting to, you know, pay the bulk of the bills and really lead you throughout the relationship. He'll just be sitting back, letting you do whatever, right? So, all of the things the lady said. It's totally false. The men, mm. men aren't insecure if they want to know wh what you're doing, where you at, who you with. But like, basically, if even if you still FaceTime them and you're still showing exactly what you're doing, I mean, I've had an ex like, you know, did not still not believe what I'm doing. And I let's say I'm yeah. at a Lowe's for my job picking up materials uh -huh. and I'm showing him a picture. I'm at Lowe's and he's like, you're not at Lowe's. I'm like, yep. so it says fucking Lowe's on my it's phone. It's not an insecurity. <laughs> it's not an insecurity How is that all. not an insecurity? That means that you are, you must have displayed something throughout the relationship yeah. of some type of yeah. promiscuous behavior, right? Yeah. So maybe you said something promiscuous or I'm maybe shot. you did something promiscuous or you nice. showed something promiscuous shot. via social media, via going out with your friends, you're, you're doing something that shows like, ah, you may not be that peer. And we want to know that pussy is ours. So since we want to know that pussy is ours, we want to know where you at, what you doing and who you with at all times. Matter of fact, put the, keep the location on your phone. Yeah. We do know that there's a, a subgroup of men that they just, you know, a little out of control. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And that is an exception to the role of those very extreme people mm. that's just like, ah, oh, you know, hounding you. Mm. Um, and that isn't even insecure. They just got a mental problem. So if you're dealing, if you've dealt with that, that's a little bit different. But generally speaking, why a man wants to know where you at, who you at, and what you're doing is because we just have that natural proclivity to protect and provide. And to have the ability to protect you means that we must have a degree of authority because the responsibility is on us to protect you. But without any authority, then how can we really protect you? Right. So we got the responsibility to protect you. So we need a degree of authority. And guess what? The degree of authority is knowing who you at, where you at and what you're doing. It's a fact. I think it's mm. okay to inform your man, but I don't think it's okay for the relationship for everybody to be up each other's ass like that. Like, yes, it's okay. Yes. Yeah, tell your, tell your would you want that? Would you want that here and here? <laughs> Men and women are would different. you want that? 
Oh, Men now they're different. Right. Men are Actually, matter of fact, hold up, hold up. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Yo, you hold on. Hilarious, Let me bro. ask you something because that's, that's real funny. <laughs> and I think your answer is you. What you're saying right now is might coming from a little insecurity that you have because maybe you hound your shorty. Oh. She's and maybe it's a spot now. now. Oh. Oh. No, let's she she talk yeah. about it. Me. Let's I talk like about it. I think maybe you have a little insecurity. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. But answer, answer my. I think question everybody over. has so little insecurities. Actual, let's be honest. Yeah, well, give me an time, actual example of an insecure guy then with a girl. Give me an actual example first, because I want to. I want to hear your example, an actual one. Uh, <laughs> because what you're, the guy? way you move in is like no guy could be insecure at all. Sure, I'll give you an so actual example. Yes, like an example. Okay, here's example. An example. Thank you. The insecure guy is the guy that had that sets no boundaries for the woman. He'll let the woman go to the club. Be out at three in the morning and he's just like, oh, yeah, sure. You want to take that girl's trip? Go take the girl's trip. Oh, you drinking with your uh, girls and some guys is going to be there? Oh, you have guy friends? Oh, hang out with those guy friends. That's an insecure guy. You know why? Because why? he's not secure enough in the relationship to tell the girl the truth. You get what I'm saying? I don't like what? date women. That we don't allow I don't, that shit. I don't date women that go to the club, take single girls trips, or do these promiscuous behaviors that put herself in a situation where it could damage the relationship. So guess what? Those dudes that allow their women to act however they want to act, those dudes are insecure. The dudes that are secure, think about it. If I'm secure in the relationship, right, then that means that I don't care what you say. I don't care of your reaction. I'm going to tell you these are my rules of the relationship because you've asked for it and I've granted it, right? So if you've asked for the relationship and I've granted it, here's my guidelines. If you don't follow my guidelines, then guess what? You will no longer be in a relationship with me. So that's a very secure guy. He's very secure in his position in a relationship. The dude that isn't secure in his position in a relationship, he allows his woman to walk all around him and through him. You get what I'm saying? I, I think that... The it's a very fine line with that because I find that yeah you didn't really have nah, much to come I think, back from that I'm just saying no I think there's a fine line because that to me sounds like very controlling I get it with the girls trip and yeah. the club I get it with a lot of things but you sound like you might be like a master or something like you need to chill that I out. am the master okay that's exactly what I'm talking about I think that to me actually comes from a place of a little bit of insecurity and that yeah. that's just what I, that's just how I feel but I'm just gonna say it like this right I'll tell like, you no, no, no. Let me let me sure. finish. Right, let, let me play. let me finish. I'm just gonna say it like this. Like to me, a guy like like I said, like I don't mind telling a guy where I'm at, what I'm doing. I don't mind sharing the location. You want my password? Cool, fine. It's when you cross the fucking line. You have my location. You have what I'm doing. You know my schedule. I'm texting you all through the day. It's when you constantly still with this accusing shit, or I come in contact with any guy, a client. Okay, cool. Now you ob automatically think I'm cheating. Oh, this that the, like. That to me is insecure because now you're not secure in your relationship that you don't have the trust that we built. If you don't have the trust in the relationship, you don't have nothing. So the constant accusing of me cheating with someone, you should know if you're secure in your relationship, the other person is not going to cheat. Yeah, and that's so how I feel. You should. So you, should you know. over here probably like. Uh, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna let my girl take that girl trip. What if her homie's getting married? Yeah. Now yeah, you're not nah, gonna let her take that girl trip. That is an insecurity. I'm just saying. I said a single. I'm just saying. So this is what I'm saying. Just saying. It's not about the man putting stipulations on the relationship would make him insecure. That means that that man knows his purpose in the relationship. A man's purpose is to protect and provide the woman and protect and provide the relationship. Woman can't lead anything. If a woman leaves the relationship, it's the end of the relationship. Men leave relationships and women want a man to lead the relationship. So a part of the man's purpose in leading that relationship, right? Since he's responsible for protecting you and providing for you, he has to have a degree of authority with uh, responsibility without authority is slavery. That means that I'm responsible for you, but I'm not, I have no authority. So that means that you're doing anything. And well, what, how can I really be responsible? My point is, is that a man Having guidelines and standards for his relationship is totally fine. It's up to the woman. Think about it. You don't have to be in this relationship. That's a fact. If you don't want to abide by my guidelines. But if you want to be in a relationship, it's very simple. My girl can hit me up right now. Hey, um, I'm going to be going on a, taking a, um, a single girl's trip. Uh, you know, all my single friends and we're going out to Cancun. Go ahead. I'm not gonna. I'm not controlling her. I'm not saying no. Okay. You better not go. 
Oh, go ahead. But when you come back, just know your bag's going to be packed and you're going to be single. <laughs> you buy your it's damn real, self. It's very simple. You get what I'm saying? But in order to be in a relationship with me, here's my guidelines. You feel me? So that is, that's the definition of security because it's secure. It's not even ink. It's not being controlling because you could do whatever you want to do. But guess what? Do that is just like it's very simple, right? It's heaven or hell. In order to get to heaven, God has guidelines to get to heaven. God gave us free will. Well, you can do whatever you want, human beings. But uh, guess what? In order to get into my kingdom, you have to do certain things. If you are a sinner, you have to repent from your sins and change your behaviors. And then you'll get into the promised land. So there's things to do to get into the promised land. And I hold my relationship just like God. So if you want to be with me, there's things that you have to abide by to be with me. You have to not be out in the streets all night. You can't be taking no single girls trips. You can't have no guy friends. I'm not tolerating that. You don't get into my kingdom of a relationship if you're acting like this. Just like Jesus has his kingdom in the heaven, I got my kingdom in a relationship. Hey Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, okay, no. Lachaim. 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 I have something to say. Okay. I was, all right, so back to what I had said. If I'm having a regular casual conversation, and he called me friendly. Oh, you friendly as hell. You friendly. <laughs> You're Shut insecure. Up. You we don't need to talk to him. We, Shut listen, up. What's the point? Of, no, what listen, you gonna gather listen. out of this? What are you about to gather listen, out of this relation? Out of no. this convo? Nothing. They could gather so a up. lot of fucking information. Listen, what if, what if you what? networking? Nice. I have what? a business. Why I have to network. Time. I don't give a fuck. Well, yeah, you're, you're, you're different. So, you're different. Wanna... That's business. Business and friends is two different things. So I want to no. say something. Why That's is it okay for we don't things. we don't like why? friendly girls? We don't like friendly girls. I don't. We don't like friendly boys Wait, either. Why exactly. Why I can't stand them. Let Kaylee say something real fast. Why is it okay for guys? Okay, in the relationship with a woman to have female friends, but us women are not allowed to have guy friends. Okay, That's you want to know why, standard. Kaylee? Yeah, a follow women, my so a lot of, lines. A lot of women are trying to the bang men too, you know. Kaylee, listen. Uh, so Sorry. The truth is, is that... <laughs> it's okay. true. Oh, it goes both ways. The truth ways. is that... I don't the trust guys no bitches. That, cool. The guys, I do not. Okay, I'll let you know. You asked the question, I'll give you an answer, right? Okay. So the reason why, Mikey, good? Uh, the reason why uh, these dudes, <laughs> you having guy friends is unacceptable and a man having girlfriends uh, would be more acceptable. I'm not even saying that's acceptable, but I'm saying it's more acceptable. I don't Shut think up. guys, Shut one, up. I don't think <laughs> men and women are capable of being platonic friends. I don't so know. since that's the facts that I'm a man, so I know that most guys... 99.99% of them, I would say 100%, if if your woman is fairly attractive, she don't even got to be all that attractive, but most guys uh, know that men want to smash most girls. Mm -hmm. And it's just, a, it's facts on there. Most oh, yeah. men would sleep with most women. You can look on Tinder and all of the bumbles and all the dating apps. Men but. swipe right on like, I think 70% of women mm -hmm. and uh, women swipe right on like 5% of men. That's a, fact. that's a fact. So that should tell you that most men will smash most women, but well, most women. women won't smash most men. Thank so you. if me and you are in a relationship and you want to have a guy friend, well, I know there's a very, very, very high probability that he's trying to do all the things to get inside between those soul gaps. So I am going to, one, not allow that. But if you want to do it, go ahead and be single. <laughs> to the streets you shall go. But it's okay for guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, hey, I got a question for you. Sure, sure. Gigi, go ahead. My, I'm going to give you a little scenario. A big one? And you can answer this too. Thank you. I want you to answer too. Okay. All right, let's say you have a shorty, yeah. which maybe you both probably do. Um, let's say you both have a girl or whatever. And let's say you're at the supermarket. Okay, let's say, you know, you're putting your food up or whatever. And that's it. Nothing else. And then, then what happens if you go in a parking lot and your girl starts snapping on you? I don't like the way you were looking at that cashier. I don't like the way you're looking at it. going crazy. What would you call that? What would I? How call would you the describe? Girl? What would you describe that if someone is like doesn't like the way you they thought you looked at somebody when really you didn't look at them no type way at all? She don't respect me. Mm -hmm. She being disrespectful. That's not okay. her being insecure. She's disrespectful. What if she said it in the most respectful way? What if she's no, what if she there's has no way you could say that? Hold on, hold on. No, hold on. What if what if she has tears coming down her eyes in the car and she's like, Babe, I just I just don't like the way you were looking at that girl. Now what? 
Okay, so if he's saying it in a different way, then that means that yeah, she maybe she needs some more reinsurance or no, what? It, I'm like, well, Get what am I not giving to? Because I know oh, damn boy. well, no, I know oh, damn no. well some of you would be like, no, she's insecure. No, nah. is, no. Well, first of yeah, all, women um, are insecure from other girls that's being more beautiful than them are. You know what I'm saying? So I think that when we play this game, okay, so that you just said up, insecure. Yeah, yeah, but what we we're speaking about insecurity, and I wouldn't say a woman would be insecure from a guy getting compliments that wouldn't be insecure women what? are more insecure of other women right and i would say that men will be more insecure of other men okay but when it comes to being in a relationship a man isn't going to be insecure from his girl going out to a club with a bunch of guys that want to smash her he's going to be like that's stupid why would you put yourself in that situation where alcohol is involved and something possibly no. could happen stay home yeah i get that i get the club thing i get the girls trip thing i yeah. get that okay cool but what i don't get is like in regular situations for example my job me tattooing people i have to tattoo men I, yeah. I have to. It's your Instagram. Yeah, but business, but business that, should never interfere mm. with a relationship. Like, I mean, obviously, if you're crossing boundaries, then that will. But if that's your profession, somewhere your job, throughout the relationship of you and that dude, you gave him up. some signs yeah. that maybe no signs. you you like someone at the job, or maybe you who knows you gave or not even at the job. It didn't even have to do anything with the job, but you gave some signs that you were for the streets and he had I, a for the street vibes so when a man has the if a girl is for the street vibes he has big ears it's like antennas go up his antennas go up and he start looking for things like wait is this chick for the streets is she for the streets is she for the streets I he's not necessarily worried about another man you get what i'm saying he's not worried about another man he's just like i think he is, is. This girl for the streets i don't want this chick to be because if that's the case then why wouldn't he ever be like oh like who the fuck you tattooing when i'm tattooing a girl so he, he's being insecure about the other guys, which you just said that guys can be insecure about other guys. Did you yeah, not just yeah, say yeah. that? Insecure to other guys. When I mean like... Exactly. I'm with me, another guy nah, tattooing nah, nah. him. Different. You're insecure about that guy. No. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Did you always look like that? No. What did you used to look like? <laughs> I had <Me>? no beard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just look at this nigga. I'm scared. <laughs> skinny and no beard. That's just the skinny and no beard. Okay. So in that but moment, did you great. ever I mean, feel like insecure about other guys in that moment? Like, did you ever you, feel you like find him attractive? Who, Salim? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. So that answers your question. Obviously, then I was attractive when I looked like him. Maybe you didn't look like him. Nah, I did look like this. Uh, you did not. <laughs> I'll show you Mike, a picture. Mike, is we lying? I really don't think, I don't think so. No, nah, we nah, really we did look alike. I think you were like fairly way more skinny. Nah, we was the same I, exact I don't skinny, know. Not, not way more. Nah, we was the same. We was the same. We all, well, we all okay, the so would you, would you say five. that I had brought a shoulder you back then was a downgrade? Me back like, then? Do you feel like you yeah. look better now than you did yeah, back then? Up. Well, me back then, I would say a man has to earn his value, right? Okay, we, we so got that. We got that. You, he, you decided you to go to the to gym, bulk up. We got that. that. But um, yeah. To but, make your, but so do you, do you, you increase yourself, make yourself look better. To make your now point, you're more secure um, in yourself. No, no. To make so you were never point, insecure the way you looked before. No, no, no. Mm, never. Yeah, no. To never, ever. The, no. no, no, no. So I'll answer your question. And I'll make the point for nah, you. Ass. No, no. Yes. I was, All right. Yes. Uh, here's, I'll answer your question, right? So I'm 34 years old. Let's say when I was, when when was I real skinny? I'd say like 25, right? Yeah. So that's nine years ago. So when I was 25 years old, I was about 150 pounds and I was still a nigga that got chicks. Um, same, same ability that I have garnering attention from females. I still have that same ability now. I would say more because of status. My status increased. My finances increased. I'm 200 pounds now. I'm bigger. So yeah, as I work on myself, a man, he acquires more value, which then means that the attention I'm able to garner from females, maybe I could only date strippers at the time or maybe only bang a stripper or maybe only bang a girl with a promiscuous past. But now I have the ability to attract all females. Would you delete your social media for the right guy? For the yeah, oh. if it was the right guy, sure would. If it really was a big problem, I just can't delete my tattooing Instagram oh, though yeah, because that's yeah. business. Yeah, but I mean, that's fine. If it was like such a bother, like I would. But that's why I said you could have my. So password. you never suggested that ladies to on this couch. I got anything? Y'all pretty quiet. I got the input on. I know. 
<laughs> Did you want anything? Yeah, I had any. Um, Kiki. I kind of mm-hmm. was just listening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So let's see the definition of insecure. I mean, why Actually, it's a good idea. A person that has little confidence and are uncertain about their own abilities okay. or if other people really like them. So that's insecure. Yeah. That's you know the first definition? It's a multiple definition. Reread the first one. I'm just curious. Uh, No, that's the that's the first one. Is it? Yeah, that's the first one. And then it's more. So what is an insecure person like? Um, being overly critical or mm. of critical yourself. Fun, of yourself. Yeah. Being of yourself. overly critical of yourself yeah. or other people. Trying to portray yourself as overly confident to mask how you really feel. Mm, that's so, a big one. So like an insecure so, yeah. man would be like, well, babe, like. Do I do I look good in this, or do you find me attractive? Or that's like, why her guy that was like, oh well, um, it looked like you you make more. What you say? Oh, he want to oh, make as like much you money get as to you. the bag. I hope I can make <laughs> as much money as you. Like that dude was insecure. Yeah. Because he's questioning his yeah. self. I think you ability. had the only one that was like, ah, he's insecure. Yeah. Or if a dude is asking you like, you maybe you talking about your past guys, and you like, what was his size? Yeah. Well, yeah. well that's insecure was because why are you was he cuter than, was he better than you yeah. was he better than me that's insecure because then he's like he's is he's lacking in himself self-confidence and he's lacking in his own abilities like the definition i just read so yeah yeah but but now think about it right even with that definition what i said streams perfectly to it because i said an insecure man is a man that lets the woman do all these things, but even though he doesn't want her to do it, but he sits there and deals with it and dwells in is like, ah, well, yeah, I don't want her weird. going to the club and stuff like that, but I'ma just let her but what mm. I'm saying is is that no man wants the girl, I mean if you the main girl <laughs> wants his woman going out and doing a whole oh, lot yeah. of stuff. That's understandable. And that's a beta. So we all watch this. It's y'all know what a beta really is. It's just when like you're not doing anything and someone just constantly is oh, like yeah. Yeah, that's, that's just it's just situation. annoying, you know. But yeah, you um, let's issue. move it right along. Uh, we gonna where Kaylee go? We gonna end the podcast. Gone for like fifteen minutes. Uh-huh. She's sleep. She might be. She might uh, be sleeping. Uh, yeah, but. real quick, so we get in the podcast. <laughs> yeah, we gonna do last thoughts. Last thoughts. Mm-hmm. All right, let me. How'd you so, like it? I like this podcast. I think it was um. <clears throat> It made me realize that I'm still not the problem. No, nah, I'm just playing. But, um, <laughs> nah, but no, nah, it was actually like good. I, I like, and I always like to hear a guy's perspective because it's yeah. gonna help me in my relationships. Because I'm still young and turned, and I'm trying to figure it out. And turn. I just had to add that part. <laughs> but I'm still young and trying to figure it out. So hearing what you're telling me, I'm taking it in because yeah. it's gonna help me in a relationship. Because I now I'm getting. You're telling. You're giving me. Like the answers for real about how guys think. Yo, so I'm literally being super no fugazi. Uh, word. Well, what they're you know? old guys though. Oh, watch mm. your mouth now. Well, I'm just the, saying that you guys are kind of old as fuck. Nah, but nah. all guys. <laughs> like you don't. This not way. all guys your age think the same as you though. So Let's be like, real. think about it, right? Guys, <laughs> younger, younger guys. Of course, they don't think like us because they yes. didn't acquire enough experience yes. and enough value to be able to have competence. Put it like this. Competence leads to accomplishments, which then leads to true confidence. Them younger dudes ain't accomplished nothing. Right. And most of them are incompetent. Right. They don't got no true confidence. So their perspective on the world, they don't have the confidence to really uh, have a good perspective on the world. So, yeah, they they be chilling and they all about the vibes, too. You got to think about it. How do where do we get our influence from? All most human beings get their influence from TikTok social media who they're around most guys is raised by single moms so they don't really know anything anyway right they don't have any real masculine guidance right so they're a little bit more feminized and they want i was younger too i was looking for the vibes i didn't really give a freak about what the girl was saying what she was doing right really as long as the vibes is good and i can get in between them soul gaps i was good i wasn't trying to wife none up anyway so it didn't really matter that is a fact Real quick, um, would you come back? Yes. For the third time? For the third time? Yes. I hope I have a better story to tell. <laughs> yeah, because you cooking up. Over there, you know <laughs> You'll be cooking, mommy. And um, last thoughts? Um, I think that this podcast was better than last. Last time I was almost falling asleep. This one was... Yeah, last time was a little... Yeah, it was a little... I'm not going to lie. It was a little... 
dragging on and boring. But this one was really funny and entertaining, <laughs> and I had a lot of laughs. And I got a lot of good perspectives on certain things. Word. Thank you. You're, you were a good sport. Would you come back for the third time? Sure. As cool. long as you, like, make me not look cross-eyed on the, <laughs> on the story because uh, I look uh, fucking cross-eyed. Uh, I'm going to ask you to change that the, because you're doing lie. me dirty. The last one, I, I'm cute as hell. And the I last one, you one. made me look like shit. I mean, the angle was bad. I, I need good angles, okay? I'm not like 100% perfect. I want, but I want the clip of her saying I'm stoned. I'm not fucking I want that clip. You got me looking that ugly was in the last clip. one. Was that was my favorite line she of actually the whole podcast. You're like, I don't know. I'm stoned. That was my favorite line. Um, this is something with me. I'm always stoned and I have ADD. So, and I'm mm. in my own little world. So I may not be paying attention to the whole thing. So I need you to ask, like <laughs> literally ask me the question two yeah. times. Sure no, right no worries. Now. I got you. But yeah, I'm just always day, high. Literally. High five. The last time and uh, last thoughts on the podcast? Um, I like the podcast. Obviously I came back, so I liked it the first time. But, Word. you know, um, I also want to say I do like authority. I do mm. like when a man tells me what to do. Mm-hmm. Shut lie. up and stay in the house and cook me a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Fix me my <laughs> sandwich, <laughs> woman. I'll do it. <laughs> Shit, I'll stay home all night. I don't care. See? Most girls do like that, but it all depends they on like how the guy could say it. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like that. Well, mm-hmm. Say it again. Well, if he's a, yeah, jer- if he's a jerk or an again. asshole, I'm not making yeah, shit. He's a yeah, jerk, but it's yeah. all about the chemistry. The I vibe. like it in the bedroom. Tell me what to do. Like, get on the bed right now. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> like throw me on the bed. You I like, like him it. to be dominant. <laughs> I like yeah, it. I like men to be yeah, dominant. I, know, right? I like I'm it a both ways. Person. And uh, like both last thoughts, Kaylee. I thought it was good. This time you didn't roast me or make me feel bad <laughs> about my occupation. <laughs> Very true. Uh, I think but I, I, ain't, I ain't roast you. I was just giving you. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. yeah. He was what? giving you insight. Yes, I understand that, but I am a nice person regardless of my job. Raven's known me for 14 <laughs> years. She can vouch for it. Got you. I'm not a 304 or none of that. I'm very 304. reserved oh. to myself. Oh. I'm reserved to myself, and I'm very picky with who I date. Like, I will. I will not give it up right away. What's your body count? <laughs> I don't have one. What the heck? I've only had like um, four boyfriends. I don't really hook up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think, Kula? What do you think? You we end in the podcast. I'm going to come over there uh, and slap you silly if you don't. So, you know, would you come back? <laughs> yeah, I would. All right, Word, I'll have you back. Kayla, you're always a good sport. Thank you. So are you. <laughs> Gigi. That's good. <laughs> uh,. How'd you like it? It was good. It was good. All right, would you come back? Yeah, good little debate. It was fine. It was cool. Got a, yeah. got a little the L, but you know. <laughs> you I'm sorry. Actually, I took a debate. W. What? That was a W. Definitely took you a W. Definitely took a L. You what you do nowadays? What's that thing you guys do now? Uh, you do that? You fought yeah, back I, hard. I, I she tried like, to fight back because the life went through. Right. Hey, man, uh, this podcast was very no fugazi, and uh, appreciate y'all ladies for coming. Um, definitely we'll have y'all all back for another episode. But other than that, peace. We out. <laughs>